This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. Just dial toll-free to 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And joining you tonight, it's Ian. And Daryl. So, I got arrested today, Daryl. Yes, you did. Yeah, and I have to say, I uh, I didn't think it was going to happen. I really didn't think it was going to happen. And Mark predicted... I figured that it would happen. Yeah. Yeah. And I was actually making plans for how to do this show without you tonight. Well, I appreciate the uh, the preparation, but uh, fortunately, I was able to get bonded on uh, PR bond tonight, so I don't have to sit the entire weekend awaiting an arraignment on Monday morning. Because when you get arrested on a Friday, pretty much in every jurisdiction I've ever heard of, you have to sit until at least Monday to see a judge. And Unless you're somehow able to get bailed out. Right, right, right. If you, uh, yeah, if you don't, if you don't have the money to uh, get out. In this case, it didn't cost anything um, to like. There was no bail in this case. It's PR, so personal recognizance. You know, they they know I'm going to show up essentially at court, so they're not too worried about the bail money. Still had to pay the bail commissioner forty dollars, though, right? They didn't have to, but uh, the folks who came to pick me up did do that because he told them I told them that that I said to go ahead and do that, which I did not say to do. Uh, he, he asked me if I had the 40 bucks, which I did not. And he said, well, the, the people outside have it. And I said, I don't know. You can ask. So I told him he can ask if they had the, you know, if they had money. So they, anyway, they paid that. And, um, if they hadn't paid it, he would have had to have released me anyway. And then the judge could order me to pay it down the line. Right. Right. So, um, boy, where to begin with this particular, uh, case, it's it really has to do with a ridiculous technicality in in the law. They're essentially charging me with uh, fraud, basically. They're charging me the the actual titles that they're charging me with are prohibitions and uh, false of unsworn falsification, which is basically one step below perjury. Yes, is my understanding because I I read the ordinance. That you were charged with on the unsworn falsification. Mm -hmm. And it's basically giving false information to a government official and basically not being under the penalty of perjury. In this case, the penalty is a misdemeanor charge, of which I've been hit with two Class A misdemeanors here in New Hampshire. Class A. That's right. Here in New Hampshire, Class A misdemeanor carries up to a year in jail. And a thousand or twelve hundred or something. There's an amount of money as well that they can that they can hit me with uh, if I'm found guilty of this. And uh, I, you know, hopefully I have a good case here. I, you know, intend to take this on myself. I don't imagine my attorney is going to be too interested. I'll run it by him, see what he says. But um, I, I, this doesn't seem to be a complicated case. Both of these statutes do use terms like knowingly, and so essentially what they're accusing me of doing was last year, and longtime listeners of the show know that I've been using the name Ian Freeman for a long time, and I went last year to actually change legally the name that I was using to Ian Freeman because I was frustrated with courts, some courts refusing to recognize my name. Other courts were fine with it. Some courts, would, most courts would refuse to. And so I was just tired of that, and I figured, all right, fine, I'll, I'll try this probate court process and, and go through the name change thing. Thing was, at the time, I was under threat by the DMV who had uh, removed my so-called driving privileges here in New Hampshire as punishment for not having gotten a New Hampshire driver's license. They were demanding that I get a New Hampshire driver's license at that time. So I figured, all right, well, if I'm going to get a, this New Hampshire driver's license, because I don't want to be prohibited from driving forever, which right. is what they were doing to me, uh, I figured, well, if I'm going to get this New Hampshire driver's license, I might as well go ahead and go through with this name change thing so i can do it kind of all at once what's the intention so i went through the name change thing and then i went into uh to get the driver's license but it was harder than i expected it to be to get a driver's license under the name ian freeman they wanted me for instance to go to the social security office and get some sort of approval or paperwork or something like that even though you had the form from the probate court saying ian is now ian freeman that's right 
So I figured that would have been enough, but no, they you know spring this requirement on me when I walk in there. Oh yeah, you got to go down to the social security office. Like, oh well, I don't really have time. I'm not interested. I don't believe in social security. I don't participate in social security. I don't want anything to do with those people. So I basically decided that um, you know, given it a little bit of thought after that, and I came back and decided, well, you know, because I want to be able to drive and I don't want to have to jump through this hoop. It was my understanding that changing your name on the driver's license once you got the license from New Hampshire was an easier process than doing it prior to uh, doing it how I was going to do it. And so uh, so I went ahead and, and just you know gave up, surrendered my old uh, Florida driver's license and got a New Hampshire driver's license in the name of, of Ian Bernard, my original name. And I, had, I, I'm pretty sure I even told those ladies because they recognized me. You know, this is a small place. They recognized me coming in. Oh, well, wait, didn't you change your name recently? I'm like, yeah. Well, I just, I'd rather get it in this name for now, and I'll, I'll change it later on. And so, you know, they didn't say, oh, well, that's illegal. You know, they went ahead and processed me through. So they probably don't know that no, that's illegal. Don't. And I they probably didn't. just know that it's strange. Yeah. But not illegal. So they processed it through. I got the license under the name uh, Ian Bernard. And then it was my full intention to change the name on that license to Ian Freeman. And uh, eventually I did change the name on that license to Ian Freeman. So, you know, where's the issue exactly? Well, they say the issue was that when I signed the statement to get the license, that essentially I was using a false name or a fictitious name or something like that. And, you know, that's the the wording here in the prohibitions statute. It is a misdemeanor for any person to use a fictitious or false name, which I don't consider my original name to be either fictitious or false, uh, in an application for a driver's license or permit, or knowingly make a false statement or knowingly conceal a material fact or otherwise commit a fraud in such an application. So what they're going to argue, and I, I'm not saying that you know you're necessarily going to be found guilty, although I think you probably will be. But what they're arguing is that your name was no longer Ian Bernard. You went in legally. Legally, legally your name was no longer Ian Bernard. You went in, filled out this piece of paper saying I am Ian Freeman. And it got the little stamp of approval from the probate judge. Yeah. You went to the DMV and said, I am Ian Freeman. Give me a license. And they said, we need all of these documents. I don't have those documents. And so then you went back another day and said, I am Ian Bernard. Wait, weren't you Ian Freeman yesterday? Well, I still am, but give it to me in this name. Yeah. So that's where they're saying the one of those two names was not your current name. Well, the thing is, though, Daryl, when you get the uh, the pro um, when you get the paperwork, when once you get go through the probate process, they give you a sheet of kind of like an info sheet. I'm like, okay, here's what you should do right. now that you've changed your uh, your name. And one of those things, and I don't have it right in front of me, but uh, I can pull it up here in a moment. But one of the things that it says is that you know your obligations in your old name continue. It's not like that name just just disappears from the earth right uh, you know any any agreements you had any credit cards or whatever uh those are still in your old name you're still obligated to uh, you know to do those things right and i don't think that anybody is trying to say that you no longer have to pay the light bill that was sent to ian bernard no, but my point was that didn't you know th that sort of information that i was given made and plus the other thing they said was that you are you do have to change your name on things but there wasn't any sort of period of time in which you know, you had to change it in X amount of days right. or something like what that. What I'm saying is because you went to the DMV on one day mm -hmm. and said, I am Ian Freeman. And then a later date said, I am Ian Bernard. Even though your name was legally Ian Freeman at that point. Mm. That is where they're saying was the misrepresentation but it wasn't of knowing, your identity. It wasn't knowingly. Like I thought it was totally fine to get the license under the old name and then change it after, you know, after that fact. So if knowingly is a factor in this statute, which it seems to be. For uh, part of the statute. I feel, I, there's an argument there. More coming up here. It's Free Talk Live. 
There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. I'm Chuck Woolery. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I really don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream. It's an arthritis pain relief cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn. It isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee, so you can use a whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt that you'll send it back. You know, the stuff really works. Get Australian Dream at Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. You'll be glad you did. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. FreedomsPhoenix.com, constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative freedomsphoenix.com constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways with liberty and property under constant attack freedomsphoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda and it encourages the participation of its readers go to freedomsphoenix.com that's freedoms with an s phoenix.com freedomsphoenix.com the revolution between the ears has already happened The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Juicy Juice, 100% juice, providing a full serving of fruit in every four ounces. Visit us at JuicyJuice.com. When it comes to nutrition, kids need both fruits and vegetables every day to stay healthy and grow. For the ideal mix, your kids should have at least one and a half cups of any veggie or 100% veggie juice and one cup of any fruit or 100% fruit juice a day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can bring up whatever you want. I think I've got it bad. Take a look at the case of Ross Ulbricht. He is facing probably the rest of his life in prison for being the man who allegedly ran the Silk Road, the underground black market where you could buy all manner of different interesting things, including illegal drugs and fake IDs and things like that. Um, He's facing years and years in prison over that, and he needs help. Uh, His family is not rich. They can't afford to pay for this uh, fancy attorney they've gotten. Uh, They've got Joshua Dreidel, who has previously worked with folks in Guantanamo Bay. So hopefully this attorney really knows his stuff. 
uh, but it's going to be expensive, and they could use your help. If you support ending the insane war on drugs, if you support the Silk Road and the underground black market, and you want to see uh, this guy walk free in this case, you want to see him have a good chance of doing that, please help out with his fundraiser at freeross.org. That's free Ross. Dot org. And as we learn more about the case, we'll continue to bring you information here on Free Talk Live. Uh, joining you in the studio tonight, it is Ian. And Daryl. We'll be talking about the college myth, this this oft-repeated idea that, oh, well, if you go to college, you'll make a million dollars. A million dollars more. Isn't that the, uh, the claim, I think? Yes. Than the average person who doesn't go to college. Over your lifetime. Yeah. So we'll get into that here in a moment. Also, don't forget you can join us at freetalklive.com. Uh, so I was arrested today, and it was, to me, just total BS. Uh, I don't know what it was that sparked this investigation. I don't know if it was that they were just after Ian Freeman trying to find something to, to pin on me, or if it was the fact that I tried to go and get a voter ID card under the name Ian Freeman. Uh, while having a driver's license from the state of New Hampshire that had the name Ian Bernard on it, which could have set off a flag in their system. I think that is more likely. I think you're right about that. Is that that they were investigating some kind of voter fraud. Right. Because, you know, that is a concern. You know, that people are coming in and voting under multiple names and fake names and in places that they don't actually live. Right. Right. So that seems to be a concern. Which, of course, I wasn't doing those things, nor was I using uh, any na- any of these names for any sort of fraudulent purpose. Right. But their accusation is that uh, that I've unsworn falsification and prohibitioned. Uh, these are the charges that I've been, <laughs> been hit with here. And the prohibition is that uh, I allegedly used a fictitious or false name in an application for a driver's license or knowingly made a false statement, or knowingly concealed a material fact, or committed a fraud in such application. The first part of that, of using a false name, does it say knowingly using a false name? No, it does not say that. So the knowingly's all come after. That's true. However, I was under no, you know, I was under the belief that the name that I had, Ian Bernard, was a legitimate name because the documentation that I was given from the court said that all my obligations are still there. So, you know, that's still my old name. It's not like that just goes away. So anyway, that's uh, that's what I did was I used my old name the day after I had gone through a legal name change. Had I gone to the uh, DMV the day prior to getting the legal name change, it wouldn't have been, you know, an illegal act or whatever. Well, and I think also what sort of struck them as odd is that you went in the day of and tried to get the driver's license under under the name Ian Freeman. Yeah. And then the next day went to get it as Ian Bernard. Yeah. But I also, you know, they knew my name was Ian Bernard previous to that anyway, because I showed them the uh the old license. So it wasn't like, you know, I was trying to pull some sort of fast one. Right. I'm just saying you signed the paper under one name one day, a different name the next day. Yeah. And that is going to strike anybody as odd. So, um, well, but they had known that I had gone through a name change. So it wasn't like, you know, anything was being concealed from these people. Didn't say you were concealing anything. I'm just saying it's odd odd. for you to come in one day and sign a piece of paper with one name and then come in the next and sign it with another. Just because it's odd shouldn't be illegal, right? Um, the other thing, unsworn falsification, if I make uh, a written or electronic false statement which he or she does not believe to be true on or pursuant to a form bearing notification, blah, blah, blah. And let's see, makes any written or electronic false statement which he or she does not believe to be true. So that's the other claim they're going to make was that I, I didn't believe that I was Ian Bernard when I signed that form, but I did. Because I thought that that name was still, you know, valid, essentially, until I changed it, which I hadn't gone through the process of changing it through the driver's license. Anyway, that, I hope I've explained this, you know, sort of legalistic technicality situation that I'm now facing two years in jail for. You, you think that your name is both Ian Freeman and Ian Bernard, and you have signed papers, government papers, under both names. 
for a long time I've been doing that. Yeah. I mean, even since before I went through the probate court process, I've been signing papers under both names, depending on the circumstance, you know? So if I had to, if I had to get a bank account, I would have signed as Ian Bernard, or if I wanted to uh, register to vote, I signed as Ian Freeman. That wasn't illegal. But once I went through the probate court process of actually jumping through their hoop to change the name, then it became illegal to use the old name, which I had no idea. Right, because one of those is not still your name. That's what they say. <laughs> one of those used to be your name. Yeah. And it is no longer your name. You're still under the obligation of, you know, like I said, you can't not pay the light bill that comes to Ian Bernard. Yeah. Well, it was also uh, when the DMV told me I needed to get a license in New Hampshire, that obligation was under the name Ian Bernard. So in theory, I fulfilled the obligation for the name Ian Bernard at that point. It's a mess. This it is, is a mess. A nasty, nasty and case. And it's such a mess that Judge Burke is going to get confused mm. and wind up saying guilty. Well, here's another interesting point, Daryl, in this uh, unsworn falsification law. Section 3 says, no person shall be guilty under this section if he or she retracts the falsification before it becomes manifest that the falsification was or would be exposed. Now, that last bit of wording is a little confusing to me. I but, have no clue what that means. But ultimately, the falsification being retracted, I would count that as me going ahead and changing the name to Ian Freeman on the license, which I did do eventually. So it wasn't like I'd intended to go on forever having the New Hampshire driver's license under the old name. Yeah. So if they want to follow their own rules, which they don't tend to do, then in theory, part three there should at least throw out the unsworn falsification charge. There's no out in the... Or, or they could the say, one. what we mean there is you wrote the wrong information and then you ripped that form up before you handed it to anyone. Mm. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So there. like if you accidentally write the wrong address on a form, but never turn that form in... Before it becomes manifest. Then yeah. you never gave the government false information. So there you go. Uh, two years in jail. That's the proposal that's on the table. Uh, class A misdemeanors. They may drop the, the charges to Class B. Who knows what will happen between now and then. Yeah, reading the RSAs for the uh, unsworn falsification, yeah. it doesn't specify Class A or Class B. Which means they can do it either way. And another RSA says that if it doesn't specify, it is a Class B. Oh, really? So maybe they just check the box on Class A to try to intimidate me yes. or whatever. We're coming up here in moments. You can take control of the airwaves here at Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze-drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. The TalkStream Live app for iPhone, iPad, and Android is the fastest and easiest way to access live talk radio anytime, anywhere. Download the free TalkStream Live app right now and see for yourself. You'll enjoy instant access to the best in live talk radio. Find your favorite shows and discover some new ones. The TalkStream Live app is available in the App Store, the Google Play Store, or visit TalkStreamLive.com. That's TalkStreamLive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. Hey! 
That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone. 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episodes of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can bring up anything that you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And join us online over at freetalklive.com. Enjoy all the features that we share with you on the site. You know, most people want to get ahead in life, and nearly all of Free Talk Live's listeners would like to persuade more people toward freedom. But did you know that some of the solutions that claim to help you grow actually backfire? The good news is that 70 years of science shows that even the best leaders can get better, but only if they practice in ways that actually work. Dr. Matt Barney, the founder of LeaderAmp, has coached and taught thousands of successful leaders around the world for the last 20 years using the latest science of what works. Dr. Barney has drafted blueprints for a new smartphone application to measure each person and tailor a customized developmental plan, some of which will be pushed to your smartphone. His vision is to build a community who can access approaches that really work and support each other's development as leaders. Uniquely, it will also allow you to compare your leadership with famous historical leaders like Gandhi or Steve Jobs to help you see that they weren't perfect but overcame their own limitations with practice. The app isn't ready yet. It's being built right now. But if you want to help advance an approach to grow freedom lovers' persuasion skills, we'd love for you to join the community. Feel free to pre-order on Indiegogo by visiting this website. LeaderAmp.FreeTalkLive.com. That's a quick link. It'll take you to their Indiegogo campaign where you can learn more and get behind the program. That's LeaderAmp.FreeTalkLive.com. Daryl and Ian here with you. We're going to go into your phone calls and thoughts. And then coming up, uh, Daryl, we're going to talk about the college myth about making an extra million dollars if you go to college. First, we've got Eric in Kansas. Eric, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Daryl. Hey, Ian, I, I know you got a lot of experience with this, but I just wanted to throw this out there to you. Um, but I, I was looking at the RSA, and under Section 2, it's got A, B, C, D, but those don't really matter. It's mainly the, the very first sentence on the number two that you gotta got to deal with. Basically, there's just two questions that you, you can ask and answer to solve this whole thing. Um, did you believe you were making a false statement? That's one question. And the other question is, did you have a purpose to deceive a public servant? And, and, and if the, the answer to those questions are no, then, then they haven't got a case. And, and what I would do if it was me, I would just file an affidavit of facts with the court 
making those two statements, that, that I did not make any false statements and that I did not have a purpose to deceive the public servant. And then they have to prove that you, that you, that you actually knew something or they have to prove that you had a purpose to deceive. And I, I think that's going to be a uphill challenge for them. Good suggestions, Eric. Uh, appreciate that. Anything else uh, you want to get out there tonight? No, nope, that's it. Good luck with it. Cool, man. Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you at 855-450-FREE. That is the toll-free number. Of course, it was great to be here in New Hampshire when this happened because we actually have a great crew of activists who was on the outside backing me up. They came out to the uh, the Troop C, as it's called, uh, the, the state trooper's office where they had taken me for processing. So as soon as I got out the door, they were there. You know, They, they, uh, they paid the, the bondsman the 40 bucks. They were there to give me a ride back, and it's just the community that we have here in New Hampshire is unparalleled. It's unprecedented, and uh, and it was great. It's great having these people out here. So uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and you can take control of the airwaves. Let's go to the phones and continue. Wit is on the line in Arizona. Wit, you're on Free Talk Live. Peace be upon you, Ian. Thanks, Wit. Go ahead with your thoughts tonight but I'm not with your spirit. I should like to I don't know what remark that about how the arguments I've had with you have gone full circle. You once said that I'm not a libertarian, and you suggested I was making an argument ad populum about uh, most people that were Americans were happy on August 10th, 1945, because Japan finally unconditionally surrendered. And... Uh, I should like to say that all those people weren't sick people for celebrating, like you suggest I am, for being in their Yeah, I do think spirit. it's pretty sick to Prince celebrate like the death of, uh, of innocent people. Thanks, Wit, for they your call celebrating. tonight. 855-450-FREE. That is the pro-XPN toll-free line. And I don't know if Wit has really internalized this yet, but to continue calling about the exact same topic is really uninteresting. Yeah. So it's not going to endear you. It's not going to get you on the phones very long if you're going to continue doing that. He, at the very least, has has divvied up his same three topics. You know, uh, wit. He likes to talk about wit and you know what correct some sort of misunderstandings. He likes to talk about the bombing of uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki and uh, Muslims being or no, he would correct me to Islamist. Islam Islamists being uh, evil people. And that's about it. That's about all wit uh, wit has to bring to the table. So yeah. there you go. I, I have a, a rule that I have never said on air, but I will go ahead and say it now. When I'm in first chair, mm-hmm. if he calls in, he will remain on hold throughout the entire show. <laughs> that's interesting. Well, you know, I figured I'd see if he had anything new. Let's go to Mark in New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Mark. Hi, this is Representative Warden in New Hampshire, and I want to say, Ian, on behalf of the New Hampshire government, I'm sorry you got hosed by this stupid law. Oh, thank you, Mark. Uh, this is uh, Mark Warden, also known as the Porcupine Realtor, and a uh, big, uh, big supporter of Free Talk Live and all things liberty here in New Hampshire. Thank you. It, uh, I, I certainly appreciate that, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to make it out uh, if this thing ends up going to trial. As I oh, it, it will. will. Yeah, I, expect, I, I expect it will. I think it will, and I appreciate your pushing the envelope to point out the gun in the room and the silliness uh, and the farce of some of the laws. But uh, I want to tell people, tell your listeners that no matter how cynical one is about government, it's worse than what you think. So what mm-hmm. happens with all these laws when they're made is you have people in a room who react more to emotion and anecdotes than they do to principle or logic. So often you have people writing these laws who don't uh, think out all the unintended consequences, and what happens is people like you get caught up in the web. Well, right. The uh, the emotion is what drives the passing of the laws, but then these you know emotionless uh, police officers. I mean, they have emotions, but they try to they try to withhold them at least from display. Then these police officers, uh, you know, they interpret these laws in whatever way they think is uh, is appropriate and you know that's where you don't cross a t or you don't dot an i correctly and then you end up with a, a misdemeanor charge that's right and of course there are built-in perverse incentives for law enforcement and the judicial system to keep these bad books on the laws because it keeps their their docket full right it's oh, a yeah. full job 
security for them. Well, you know, it'd be one thing if there was actual fraud going on. You know, if uh, if somehow I was using uh, a different name to deceive someone, and there, you know, there was money or loss of property or something like that involved. But no one's accused me of doing anything like that. Uh, essentially, I've been accused of putting my name on a on a form, my old name on a form after I legally changed it to a different uh, to a different name, and that's a misdemeanor, apparently. Well, I appreciate what you're doing, and keep the faith, keep up the good fight, and we're pulling for you. Well, Mark, uh, I hear that you're moving on from the uh, the duties of a, a state representative. Is that rumor true, or are you still considering mo- doing things in uh, in Concord next year? No, I, I've had enough. I've been there two terms now, four years, so it's time to let the, the new bunch come in. But I'm dedicating my time to identifying, recruiting, and training other Liberty candidates. Ah, excellent. Yeah, I've heard you're actually running running candidate training seminars now, and that sounds very exciting. Yeah, that's right. So you could come, if you want to know about how to win an election in New Hampshire, make the move here as part of the Free State Project, and Mark Warden, the top-rated Liberty rep, like the number one, two was it two years in a row? Mark, I, mean, I know you probably don't want to toot your own horn, but uh, I'll toot it for you. Was it at two years in a row that you were the number one Liberty rep? Yeah, two, two out of the three years I've been rated number one by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. So no, no better person to learn the ropes from uh, than Mark Warden. I heard there were dozens of people at your seminar at the last, uh, the last one you did last weekend. Yeah, it turns out Liberty is popular. We've had quite a few people who are interested now in getting involved. You know, most people are cynical, as I mentioned, about the government, mm-hmm. but we've seen some real victories and successes. You've talked about on this program before things like the jury nullification law, which came into play in New Hampshire. Yeah, I may have to try to uh, use that in my case if they continue on with this uh, this prosecution. Thank you, Mark, for all your efforts. I look forward to seeing you soon and appreciate the call tonight. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com I'm a very bad man, and I'm outside your house. I see you've got an alarm. Outstanding. Because houses with alarms always have the coolest stuff. Unless you've got a door devil reinforcing your door frame. I'll kick your fancy door just like any other door. And I'll be gone before the police even get the call. Don't worry, I'll try not to make a mess. <laughs> Door Devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths or visit DoorDevil.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800 800- 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. 
Dick J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, take control, toll free here at 855-453-free. That's 855-450-3733. And, of course, you can join us online. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to call us that way. But you do have to send a contact request first before you can actually make that call. But that's easy enough to do. Again, you add username lrn.fm as we continue here with your phone calls and thoughts. We've got Jason on the line in Utah. Jason, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. I called in a couple of days ago and uh, was going to give you an update on our visit down to the Bundy Ranch uh, situation down there. Giving an yeah. update on how that's going. That would be great. Please uh, please yeah. do. We're hoping to have one of the members of the Bundy family on the show tomorrow, but I would love to get your perspective. Go ahead. Cool. Yeah, I went down there with uh, Brian Hyde, who's a local radio host here, and I think you guys know him as well. And uh, he yep. wrote an article on his visit. Uh, it's actually on the truthaboutguns.com. It's where he wrote it, if you guys want to check that out. But he's got a pretty good article on uh, his visit down there, and you'll see a picture of us and stuff Okay, cool. down there and kind of what's going on. Yeah, so the truth about guns.com. And, uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's interesting down there. Um, you know, the uh, federal government has made quite the showing. Um, interestingly enough, they've, in pure uh, bureaucratic fashion, they've done something that nobody else could do, is they've made their own off-ramp right to uh, the 15, which is, you know, major highway between, uh, you know, Salt Lake and, and uh, Las Vegas. They just basically have parked their vehicles right up against the 15. They can kind of turn off right there in the middle of 15, so nobody can get any access to their vehicles, you know, to take photographs or anything because, you know, it's 80 miles an hour through there, and they put up signs that say no stopping. Of course, that doesn't apply to them. Huh. Um, and, and they've built this amazing vehicle compound that's kind of tucked back in this valley, but, but obviously you can't see it because you're whizzing by at 85 miles an hour. And uh, there's there's quite a presence of uh, state troopers that are pretty active driving around the secondary roads as you turn off onto the Bundy Ranch. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're coming by. Um, you know, when we were there, there's probably a couple hundred people there, uh, a lot of good feet, a lot, a lot of good folks. And, uh, you know, just so people get a get a a feel of what kind of people the Bundys are. I mean, they are probably some of the toughest people on the planet. I mean, where their ranch is, is some of the most inhospitable land in the, in the country. It's amazing that anybody could even live out there, but, uh, good folks, you know, cowboy through to the core. Um, you know, they're just, they're just taking a stand for what they feel is right. And the entirety of the violence of the federal government it feels like it's just coming down on them. Now, how were you able to get on their ranch? It was uh, our understanding from earlier this week that they are trying to prevent people from getting there. How did you manage that? Right. Good point. We're, we're, we're not really on their ranch. There's, when, you, when you turn off to get to their ranch, there's a, just a little turnout uh, that's 
I don't know exactly how far it is from the, the, the road to their ranch, but that's where everybody's staying right now with all the protesters. Hmm. There's quite a bit of media presence out there. Uh, CNN was out there. InfoWars was out there. Fox. Um, they're starting to, I mean, they're, they're getting quiet to camp. There was about 10 or 15 satellite trucks when we were out there. Wow. And uh, I heard that the... I heard that the free speech zone designation has been removed. Can that you confirm? Is correct. Uh, Brian, yes, it is gone. Brian and I were very disappointed that we couldn't stand in that zone and speak freely. <laughs> so, um, you know, we had to keep our thoughts to ourselves while we were there. But, uh, yeah, they, they pulled that out. It is gone. So that's a victory. Um they had when we were down there. A couple of reps showed up from uh, state reps from Nevada. Uh, Michelle Fiore was one, and I was very impressed with her. She's she stuck her neck out to come there, and she's right there with them. I, I went to her webpage, looked her up. She's an interesting candidate because she shows up on her uh, her page like wearing a, a pistol. Uh, you don't see that very often. No, wait, with, is she uh, already a state America. representative, or is she running for yeah, state rep? She, she no, she is a state representative. I see. And uh, Michelle Fiore, I think it's F-I-O-R-E. But she did a good job. And uh, there was another gentleman there who was just like her. I can't remember his name. I think you can probably find links to that story. But they show up and spoke to the crowd. But, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of like we talked earlier when I asked you guys about your advice for situations like that, there's definitely some direction needed there, some focus, and some, um, you know, some training on – you know, how to conduct an effective protest. As right now, you've got a lot of good people trying to stand up for their rights. But, you know, as you know, at some point, that just becomes kind of an unruly mob. Not saying that's what it is now, but, you know, it could be. Uh, the rumors are that there's a lot of people headed down there um, tomorrow hmm. uh, through the weekend. I know there's a fairly sizable contingency of people from St. George and Cedar City. They're going down there tomorrow, probably a couple hundred. So. Wow. You know, it, it's, it's How many people would you say are there at this uh, location where people are gathered, not including the media, like probably, just kind of protesters or supporters or whatever? Two or three hundred. That's pretty big. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty big, and like I said, I I think this weekend is going to be an interesting time because so many people have been saying they're going down this weekend because obviously people have jobs and stuff, and you know that's. You know, they want to come down when they can spend the weekend. Now, this so area has been described as inhospitable. I mean, is there, a, like, even a, a convenience store in the region? I mean, how far away are people from a bathroom or is somebody bring out a porta potty um, Is there any kind of food or water around? Are people providing that? Are people cooking and, you know, selling stuff? How's that working? Yeah. You know, there's people dropping by food the whole time I was there. They had a big grill out and they were cooking. Mm. Are, there are no bathrooms as of yet. I'm sure somebody will bring them been really amazed at the local community. A very small. Bunkerville is a very small place, about a thousand people. Mm-hmm. Mesquite is probably um, maybe five to eight, ten thousand people. I'm guessing. Uh, decent sized city, you know, has a McDonald's and all that kind of stuff. That is about uh, fifteen minutes away. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen. Minutes away, minutes? 15 minutes? Okay. Yeah, fifteen to twenty minutes away. Where these guys are is literally in the middle of nowhere. I mean, when you turn there, there is nothing there. So they're uh, blocking off an exit three. from the from the state road or the interstate. Is that did I understand you correctly? No, they, they no, they have just kind of created their own little turnout, like just off the side of the shoulder. The BLM has they can just turn out right there. Where, of course, if you did that, there would be some kind of federal crime for you know exiting a freeway. Yeah, and that's federal you know? interstate. So that's I fifteen. So wait, they're turning right. out just into right. uh, the desert, is what you're saying? They're 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 leaving right, the interstate. Right. They've got a. That's correct, and that's about that's about four miles away mm-hmm. from where the actual protesters are. What's interesting is, you know, it's a desert it's flat. You can see for you know twenty, thirty miles. Yep. But you can look out in the distance, and you can see the the, the, the couple of trucks out there watching you. You know, of course they have mm-hmm. they can probably read your shirt from their distance. You know, so it's kind of a, an it's interesting creepy. experience for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Now you said the state troopers are uh, flitting about everywhere. It's there's a news story that I pulled up yesterday. We didn't have a chance to talk about it, but uh, they're making it sound like uh, even the governor of the state of Nevada is speaking out against the feds. But yet at the same time, his very own police force is assisting the feds. Yeah, uh, today I was on the radio with Brian Hyde. Uh, at the end of the show, we got a call from one of the Bundy family who said that there are some of the, some uh, Patriot folks coming in to 
coming in that area, and they have been stopped, and there's reports of some of them getting their weapons taken away. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. Um, Nevada actually has some interesting gun laws in Clark County. Um, I think when you're coming in with a weapon, you have to have the uh, the, the magazine separated from the weapon. Mm, so, so they're getting them for that. Coming in with a, yeah, that, that would be my guess. I can't confirm that, but knowing Clark County's uh, laws for, for firearms, that's probably what they're getting them for. Jason, thanks for the update tonight. I do appreciate hearing from you. Was there anything else that you felt like uh, you needed to add in? No, I just appreciate you guys getting the word out to it. Yeah, thanks for going out there tomorrow. And as I said, we'll have uh, one of the sons of uh, Clive and Bundy on tomorrow. I think his name is Ryan. He'll be joining us at the beginning of the Saturday edition of the show. So we'll get his sort of inside perspective as to what is going on. And if you're down there uh, and you are or you have been down there, would would love to hear from you, especially if there was uh, any kind of encounter with the police. And uh, Jason, thank you again. Glad you you made it out of there okay. And hopefully everything will will continue to uh, be, you know, a situation where nobody uh, gets shot. Uh, so far, that hasn't happened. The allegations have been the feds have been shooting at the cattle, uh, but I don't know if that's been it, has that been proven. Do you think, Jason, at this point? Uh, I did have some friends that actually managed to fly over that in a helicopter. They're actually reporters up in northern Utah, and they here's something that's interesting. They have seen it's calving season, and they've seen uh, newborn calves away from their mother because their mother has been taken by the feds. Now, interesting that the environmentalists who are worried about the turtles aren't worried about the calves that are newborn that are dying out That's there. horrifying. So, Jason, thank you for the call tonight. Yeah. I appreciate the update. And uh, the phone lines are open for you about whatever you'd like to discuss. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. We can tell you a little bit more about what's happening out there with a the so-called range war. You've got uh, government officials speaking out, some in favor, some definitely not. And you can take control here. Hour two's next. This is Free Talk Live. Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-443-7087. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus guaranteed 100% risk-free. Call 1-800-443-7087. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, April 11th, 2014. Silver is trading at $20.04 per ounce. Gold is worth $1,321 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $418. Antiwar.com reports, 
Following up on false reports of a deal to resume peace talks, Israel has announced a series of economic sanctions against the Palestinian Authority, including withholding their tax revenue and freezing many of their bank accounts. Under the terms of the Oslo Accords, Israel collects certain taxes for the Palestinian Authority in the occupied West Bank and transfers them regularly to the tune of $100 million per month. The process also means that Israel regularly announces its intentions to withhold the money, a large chunk of the PA's operating budget, whenever the two sides are at odds, as with the recent collapse of peace talks. While Israel couched the move as punishment for the Palestinians, the PA's chief negotiator, Saeb Erekat, dubbed the move theft, saying it was a violation of international law and would further harm the attempts to resume talks. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. That's gold.fppradio.com. RT reports, companies that provide Wi-Fi on U.S. domestic flights are handing over their data to the NSA, adapting their technology to allow security services new powers to spy on passengers. In doing so, they may be in violation of privacy laws. In a letter leaked to Wired, GoGo, the leading provider of in-flight Wi-Fi in the U.S., admitted to violating requirements of the Communications Assistance for Law Enforcement Act, or CALIA. The act is part of a wiretapping law passed in 1994 that requires telecom carriers to provide law enforcement with a back door in their system to monitor telephone and broadband communications. GoGo states in the letter to the FCC that it added new capabilities to its services that go beyond Calia at the behest of law enforcement agencies. GoGo attorney Karis Hastings wrote in the leaked letter, In designing the existing network, GoGo worked closely with law enforcement to incorporate functionalities and protections that would serve public safety and national security interests. He did not elaborate as to the nature of the changes, but said GoGo worked with federal agencies to reach agreement regarding a set of additional capabilities to accommodate law enforcement interest. GoGo, which provides Wi-Fi services on the biggest U.S. airlines, are not the only ones to adapt their services to enable spying. According to a report published in December, Panasonic Avionics also added additional functionalities to their services per an agreement with U.S. law enforcement agencies. The deal with security services has civil liberties organizations up in arms. They have condemned the Wi-Fi provider's deals with authorities as scandalous. Peter Eckersley of the Electronic Frontier Foundation told Wired, Having ISPs say that Calia isn't enough, we're going to be even more intrusive in what we collect on people, is honestly scandalous. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Coinbase also allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin using a bank account or use their tools to accept Bitcoin as a merchant. Opening a wallet is quick and easy, and for merchants, there are no transaction fees on the first million dollars worth of transactions. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. USA Today reports, according to two senior Obama administration officials, after a difficult five years shepherding President Obama's signature health care law, Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius has tendered her resignation. Obama accepted the resignation and intends to announce that he will nominate Office of Management and Budget Director Sylvia Matthews Burwell to replace Sebelius. In recent months, Sebelius has faced heavy scrutiny after the troubled launch of the federal online insurance marketplace and has been deluged with Republican attacks over the cost of the Affordable Care Act. During the first difficult weeks of the federal marketplace, Sebelius proved to be an unsteady administration spokeswoman for the health care law. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Friends of local man Carl Brewster told reporters this week they are all absolutely at a loss as to how he is not completely depressed. I've known Carl for years now, and he really is a great guy, you know, super nice. But honestly, I don't know how he doesn't go home and cry himself to sleep every night. I mean, he walks dogs for a living and no one will ever date him. I really don't get it. 
saying that they were baffled at how their close friend managed to remain even moderately happy day in and day out given his life circumstances, sources confirmed they were regularly confronted with Carl's perplexingly gregarious and affable demeanor. I mean, Carl's life really, really sucks, but somehow he manages to wave good morning to me every time I see him, and he always has this big smile on his face. Yeah, maybe he's on some kind of medication. Things have always been really awful for Carl, but he's never really been depressed. I mean, I make three times as much money as him, and I'm totally miserable. Honestly, we all thought he would have killed himself by now, but he hasn't. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited to take control of the airwaves toll-free at 855-450-FREE. More coming up about the the latest on the Bundy Ranch so-called range war uh, that is happening out in Nevada. I've pulled up the article from KZNU's Brian Hyde, who went out there uh, the other day, yesterday, I think. And we'll share that because I think it's an interesting perspective on what's happening out there. And then tomorrow night, we are expecting to have Ryan Bundy, the son of Cliven, on the, the show with us to talk about the situation, which for those of you, if you have not been paying attention uh, to the news, this is pretty big news. The Bureau yeah. of Land Management is coming after this rancher and his family because they aren't playing by the rules, the arbitrary rules that have been forced upon them by the government's Bureau of Land Management. They're grazing their cattle on this BLM land. Uh, they are not paying the BLM their fees that they're demanding. In fact, they were holding those, withholding those fees, as I understand it, for a number a long time. And they've been using the money to upgrade the land themselves because BLM... To actually upgrade right, the land. Because BLM was supposed to do that, but they weren't doing that. So this has been a big uh, issue, and they have not obeyed. And, of course, when you don't obey the state, they come at you, and they come at you hard. We'll give you more information about that. And then coming up, Daryl has uh, some interesting numbers, uh, the, some, some interesting details on countering the claim about how college education will net you an extra million dollars during your lifetime. But joining us here in the second and third hour of the program is our guest co-host uh, for the evening, and uh, her name's Ellen. Hey, Ellen. Hello, Ian, and w hello to everyone else listening. Hey, it's nice uh, to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you on the show. I believe this is your first time being on Free Talk Live. Actually, I think I was on once before with you and Mark. Really? For any amount of time? <laughs> um, It was just one episode. Okay, wow. I totally spaced on that. <laughs> That's well, okay. Welcome I mean, back. <laughs> you've already been on my podcast, and so is Mark, so it's like I've been on with you three times. Well, so your podcast is ALP. Yep. Which you host with Allie, who comes on Free Talk Live on Monday nights. Uh, Saturday nights, I think. Well, she comes on Free Talk oh, Live she on does? Monday. She's, uh, she's our Monday night co-host here on Free Talk Live. Well, learn and, something new every day. And she does uh, ALP with you on Saturday nights, which is your own show. And you guys uh, do a great show together. It is uh, totally, oh, different, thank you. totally different from Free Talk Live in that you take one topic on ALP and you zero in on that topic. And yep. you cover multiple aspects of that one topic. And you're very, very well researched on that as well. Yeah, thanks. Well, we really just try to uh, specialize each episode on one specific topic just so that we can cover all different aspects of it. And really that way, I, I feel like we can learn and teach more. And it seems like uh, we like the fans are pretty dedicated, the ones that we do have. Absolutely. And uh, and every time I listen, I feel like I'm, I'm learning something. So ALP, and, and by the way, the name, the letters change, what they what they stand for changes uh, episode to episode. Can you tease our listeners with what's coming up tomorrow night on ALP? Well, I don't want to give it all away, but we are talking a little bit about feminism. Uh -huh. And I think that's going to be an interesting topic, seeing as Allie and I are both girls. And um, this is actually a kind of a controversial topic right now, especially since like the hashtag kill all men has become in Whoa. vogue. Wait, what? I missed this one. <laughs> um, it's in vogue. It's it's trending right now Things on Twitter. Things you miss when you don't use Twitter. Apparently. See, I don't use Twitter much either, but I actually heard about this from somebody else, and I started looking into it, and people, they will, sometimes people use it jokingly, sometimes people use it seriously, mm -hmm. but I think it's just a part of the new wave of feminism where it it's gone from like, women trying to get equal rights to women actually hating men. 
Well, I somewhat argue that there have been uh, men hating women behind feminism for a long time. Um, yeah, that was the original reason for the feminism movement, I think. What I meant was uh, women who believe that, or women who hate men, uh, that those are supposedly some of the people who've been behind feminism. I always thought that that's what feminism was, that women <laughs> that hated men. Hmm. Well, originally it was just to get equal rights for women, you know, like voting rights and um, the so, ability to... So was the claim, at least. Right, that was the claim. I think eventually it turned into man-hating, though. Hmm. But I, I don't want to get too much into this. I can open yeah, my sure. own door! <laughs> So that's going to be discussed in more detail tomorrow night. ALPshow.com. Uh, you can listen live over at LRN.FM. But after the fact, you'll put up the the, the MP3 for download at yep. ALPshow.com. So very cool. Thank you for coming on Free Talk Live yeah, here thank tonight. thank you for having me. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Have you heard about the the ranch rain, the range war, as it's called, going on in Nevada? Yes, I have. I actually read an article um, from the Washington Post. And it was a little. the version was a little bit different than what you described from what I gathered, um, the the Bundy family ha- is uh, gr- raising cattle on their land, which I'm not really sure if it's their land or if it's somebody else's land, but they haven't been paying the fee, which is like 125 per cattle month, or so, like the amount of money that it takes to feed a cattle for a month. And It's my understanding they have cattle probably on their land, but their cattle grazes uh, meaning, on you know, federal eating, land. On, yeah, on federal property. Okay, so the cattle are grazing not on their land, but on somebody else's. Mm-hmm. And Presumably our land. Yeah. <laughs> Presumably. Uh, yeah. I, I give the Bundy, if they're listening, and I supposedly own some of that land, I give you permission <laughs> to eat any grass <laughs> that might be on that land that I could yeah. theoretically own. So I heard that there was a group of people that... Uh, that are for the preservation of some sort of tortoise that are like, this is a great idea. We need to get these cattle off the land. That's but, the purported reason, is uh, to protect the tortoises from, I guess, being trampled or something like that. Even that though- that's the claim, but I saw something earlier today that said that there's another federal agency that's actually been killing the tortoises. Because there's too many of them? Yes. And uh, they also point out that the tortoises benefit from the cows being on the land because apparently they eat their dung. Which is, mm. I didn't know that about tor- uh, tortoises. But yeah, that's that's an odd observation. Seems like a nice new. symbiotic relationship. Yeah, exactly. So I I read that they owe, they claim that they owe like thirty thousand dollars, but mm. um, the IRS is saying that it could be over like a million. Wow. And um, that's also put them right I heard out of business. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I also heard that there's a lot of uh, like helicopters circling the area, and they've got policemen following them when they leave. Mm. I'm, I'm not really sure. It sounds like it's spiraling out of control. So here's a perspective from Brian Hyde. He is uh, the morning show host over at KZNU, which is our affiliate there in St. George, Utah, somewhat nearby, uh, this whole situation. And he says over at thetruthaboutguns.com is where this was posted. He says, I've been a longtime friend of Cliven Bundy's son, Ryan. We're going to have Ryan on the show tomorrow night. And I took the opportunity to visit him yesterday. I'll admit that my heart rate picked up as I was headed toward the Bundy Ranch yesterday afternoon. I had seen the photos of the federal sharpshooters and Bureau of Land Management agents as they threatened and intimidated unarmed members of the Bundy family earlier this week. I watched the video of David Bundy following his release from custody after being arrested for taking video outside of a First Amendment zone set up by the BLM. The Tuesday clash between rowdy protesters and other BLM rangers was still fresh in my mind as we crossed the Nevada state line. Driving toward uh, south toward Bunkerville, it was impossible to miss the BLM's large temporary operations compound set up just off of I-15. Dozens of law enforcement, federal law enforcement vehicles were sitting in and around the compound and observers were parked atop nearby mesas. The BLM operation to impound and sell Bundy's cattle has been a distinct has a uh, dis- distinct military feel to it. The contracted cowboys tasked with gathering the cows travel in convoys protected by at least 20 escort vehicles providing armed security. It looks mighty official and is intended to be intimidating. As we neared the Bundy Ranch, we began to see official road closure signs posted at every dirt road or trail alongside the state highway. 
There was no visible BLM presence near the massive twin flagpoles beneath which Bundy family supporters and media were gathered. Roughly 200 people were on hand when we arrived, and we were told that the numbers had dropped considerably from earlier this week, but that more supporters were en route from across the country. It being pretty much coming up on the weekend here. So more people having time off from work likely to come down there to show their support. We'll continue with Brian's uh, firsthand perspective of what's happening there at the Bundy Ranch or very, very nearby it here in moments. You can bring up anything you want. Plus, coming up, the cost of college versus the benefits that you get from it. Daryl has that story. Are there some myths involved in that? Yeah. You'll find out. We're coming up. You can take control here. Add your thoughts in at 855-450 free. This is Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leading them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. When you're coping with bad news and the news media come calling, and they will, don't clam up. As notorious political figures find out the hard way, the cover-up can be worse than the crime. So get out in front of unfavorable news about your company, your group, or organization, or yourself. The sooner you confront a negative story, the sooner it will be over. Responding as quickly to negative stories as you do to positive ones enhances your credibility. Hiding embarrassing information or lying will do more damage than damage control. Never stonewall. Tell your side of the story, use specifics, and detail what corrective action has already been taken. Respond in kind. If the issue is emotional, don't sound like a cold, unemotional Mr. Spock. For more tips on critical communication skills for the way things are now, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This 
This is Free Talk Live, and you're invited to take control of the airwaves here. The Range War again on the uh, the plate here for discussion tonight. We're getting an update from uh, KZNU's Brian Hyde. He is uh, one of the talk show hosts over there. It's uh, one of our affiliates in St. George, Utah, and he went up to check out the scene at the so-called Ranch War. We'll have Ryan uh, Bundy, who is uh, the son of Clive and Bundy. He'll be on the show tomorrow night, if all goes as planned, to talk about this from the kind of the inside perspective. And, of course, you're welcome to share your thoughts, 855-450-FREE. Joining you in the studio tonight, we have Ian here. Ellen. And Daryl. Ellen's joining us from ALPshow.com. Daryl joining us from FPP.cc. Daryl, what is that? FPP.cc is Free Press Publications. That's where people will find the written commentary that I put out every week. There's also other content that is being published daily on the site. There's a monthly newspaper. There are books. There's podcasts. So pretty much any form except for video. I, I don't do a lot of video. So, uh, video takes a lot of effort, and you're putting a lot of effort into what you're already doing, and you're doing yes. a good job of it, and most of it is available for free at fpp.cc. So go and check that out. The reason why the three of us are here in the studio together is the Free State Project. Many of us in the Free State Project are frustrated by the continuing growth and imp- intrusiveness and oppressiveness of the government and we wanted to do something about it, but we know that protesting isn't effective enough and running for political office isn't effective enough, at least in the places where we were living previously. And uh, Ellen, you're from Michigan? Yep. I moved here about a year ago just for the Free State Project. Almost a year. Congratulations. Actually, it's it's been a little bit over a year. Excellent. Yeah, because I remember it was pretty cold yeah. when you guys showed up. Yeah, I think time. it was the beginning of January. So congrats on your first year here in New Hampshire. Daryl, you're in for two at least now. I've been here two years, one week, and about six hours. I have been here since 2006, and it has been great to come to a place where people who actually care about freedom are moving, where people who actually care about freedom already lived, by the way, because New Hampshire is arguably the freest state of all the 50. And uh, so this is a great starting point to actually have some sort of semblance of freedom in our lifetime. Go to freestateproject.org to learn more about an amazing movement of people. There's over 1,500 people that are here now as part of the Free State Project. Over 15,500 have signed up to make the move here to New Hampshire. So we're trying to reach 20,000. We want to get that number to 20,000. Then there's a five-year window of time in which all 20,000 have to move here to New Hampshire and then to get active to achieve more freedom. So go to freestateproject.org. Highly recommend it because you can't do this alone. You can't do this freedom thing alone. Uh, the Bundy, Bundy family knows this. Thankfully, there are hundreds of people who have gone out to support them. But the thing is, people can only go and stay in a place where they don't live for so long. And how long they'll be able to sustain this uh, this this group. There's 200 or 300 people out there right now. Maybe more people coming over this weekend. We know Occupy didn't last, and they had large numbers in a lot of cities. It just, people have to go back to work, you know, at some point. They've got a family to get back to. They've got responsibilities that that uh, that call them. So to have the people who support you be in your immediate vicinity is so critical. So go and check out freestateproject.org. That's one of the things that it does very, very well. We'll get back to what's happening with the Bundy Ranch here in moments. Crichton is in Kentucky. You're on Free Talk Live Crichton. How's it going, guys? Well, great. What's on your mind today? Well, I don't often listen to the show live. Usually I listen to podcasts. And I called in last night, and immediately after I got off the phone, I heard on the podcast later that um, a character who's been calling into your show for the past several weeks, and I've heard a lot of his call-ins, by the name of Wit. Call, uh, talk to you and immediately consulted me personally. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, well, I've been listening to Wit or Half Wit for some time now, and at first he was quite entertaining. But after a while, it's like watching while you're in high school and you see two of the special ed kids arguing in the hallway, and your first you're amused. Because two kids are calling each other retard, and later you feel embarrassed for yourself. Mm. Listening to Wit is a lot like that for me. He's <laughs> embarrassing. 
Yeah, well, I definitely cut him short uh, tonight, and uh, it, you know, if he continues to call with the same topics, he will be—he'll uh, basically be prevented from getting on the air because we can't have you know the same call every single night here on Free Talk Live. I'm just not going to put up with it. And I wanted to uh, let Wit know that he should look up Matthew five twenty two because he claims every to be a Christian. I Yes, yeah. he does. Um, he he claims to be a Christian, and he should look up Matthew five twenty two and read it very carefully, because every time he I hear him, he risks my damnation for forcing me to call him a fool. Hmm. What is in the Matthew five twenty two that is so uh, so interesting? It's the warning that. One should not call a brother a fool, lest he risk uh, judgment, even if he is a uh, saved Christian. It's it's very it's not widely known, but it's it's it's, it's in there. So, would you say uh, that you're religious? So I am. I I'm fairly religious. I am I am a Christian. Yes. Um. And I'm hard to get, I'm hard to annoy, but to be honest, he's been annoying me for a while now. (laughs) Very good. Anything Um, else you want to share tonight, Crichton? No, that's it. Thanks for the call. Appreciate hearing from you. Although maybe that's what Wit wants. You know, maybe listening to a call like that is exactly what he's looking for. He's looking for attention. They're talking about me. Right, right. You know, they're either talking about you or they're not talking about you. I mean, in life, that's generally true. And most of the time, they're not talking about you. When, you know, you think people might be talking about you, they're probably talking about themselves, more likely. But uh, in this case, Wit did manage to get somebody to call and talk about him. Right. And there's no such thing as bad publicity. Exactly. Although, I don't know what it is that Wit's trying to publicize besides hate uh, for certain groups of people. That seems to be what he's up to. You know, he doesn't have a website or anything like that. He's just no, no. He, he He's publicizing... Hate. How great it was to drop nuclear bombs on Japan and how the U.S. military is not doing enough to do something with the Islamists. That pretty much sums him up. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number here tonight. The uh, Bundy Ranch, there are hundreds of people out there more expected this weekend. Brian Hyde from KZNU uh, continues with his description of what he and uh, he encountered yesterday when he went out there, saying that apparently there are about 200 people on hand and uh, brightly colored hand-lettered signs cover a nearby fence, and some supporters held signs urging passing vehicles to honk to show their support. The mix of protesters ran the gamut from the elderly to babes in arms. Besides every able-bodied male in attendance, there were no obvious militia members in camouflage standing around. Now, there has been a specific request, from what I understand, from the Bundy family to people who are coming down there. Please do not wear camouflage and please do not open carry. I think it's all weapons, but it may just be rifles. But either way, do not open carry uh, guns down there. They don't want this to turn violent. That was posted on the Oath Keepers Facebook page. That request? Yes. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live. Share your thoughts. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terragonics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM-1 from Terragonics. Life's getting better. Free Talk Live. Oh, if only everyone were to behave in the way I think they should behave, humanity would be better off. 
again, it's just trying to impose one's vision on others. You can't be humane to others by being inhumane in the first place. And by forcing them to behave or do things that you want them to do or think in the way that you want them to think, that's inhumane. You're not respecting their choices as a free, sovereign individual. And that's what liberty is all about. You respect the rights of others to live their lives, even in self-destructive ways that you think are a bad choice, so that in turn, you have the right to live your life in any way that you choose. That's what it's all about. And as soon as you violate that, as soon as you take a step into the world of initiating force on others, then anything's game. You validated that it's okay to use force to get your way as far as changing other people's behavior. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You may bring up what you want here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The uh, college, big college myth. We're going to try to bust that one coming up here in a little bit. And, of course, take your calls. Uh, again, toll-free number 855-450-FREE. Join us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Coffee.freetalklive.com. You can go there right now and hook yourself up with a free pound of best-of-the-best coffee. From BuzzBox, it's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica. Now, coffee is a very absorbent crop, and it means that the, that organic certification is that much more important. Now, you can get good coffee in a lot of places. There's no doubt about that. What is it that makes BuzzBox special? Well, number one, uh, it's delivered straight to your door. You order from BuzzBox at coffee.freetalklive.com, and it's delivered. And you can set, it's set up an auto ship program to where you can decide, you know, how often do you want to get a pound of uh, coffee? Every two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, whatever works best for you. You can adjust that number. But beyond that, BuzzBox is competitively priced with those other high-end coffee producers, and They've set up a couple programs that really is making people's uh, lives better around the world and some pretty tough places to live. They've got a, a co-op. There's a program that allows people around the world to buy into that co-op. And as we get more listeners of Free Talk Live drinking BuzzBox coffee, because if you're going to drink coffee, you might as well drink some good coffee uh, from BuzzBox. If we, if we get uh, 1,000 listeners to order their coffee from BuzzBox, from coffee.freetalklive.com. That'll finance 100 microloans through World Vision. So basically every 10 listeners 
finances one microloan from World Vision to help change lives around the world and offer people in poverty a chance to make their life better. So get started now and get a free pound just by paying the cost of shipping over at coffee.freetalklive.com. That's coffee.freetalklive.com, and you can cancel your subscription at any time. So we continue here with the Bureau of Land Management. What's going on with the uh, the so-called range war happening out in Nevada at and nearby the Bundy Ranch? Brian Hyde from KZNU, which is one of our affiliates in St. George, Utah, went up there, and he knows one of the Bundy family. He went up to visit his friend and kind of check out the situation. They found a couple hundred people on a... Uh, kind of a gathering area, not actually on the ranch, but at a place where the media and the supporters have gathered to show their support. They uh, did not have anybody in camouflage standing around, which is one of the requests from what I understand from the Bundy family. Uh, No camo, no toting weapons. The mood was one of determination more so than anger, says Brian in his article posted at thetruthaboutguns.com. Ryan Bundy informed us earlier that day that he and a group of supporters had ventured up into one of the closed areas and retrieved roughly 20 head of cattle, which they brought back to their 160-acre property for safekeeping. The BLM made no attempt to stop them. There were plans to go back that evening and retrieve another 15 head of cattle that had been left in the corral in, the, in a corral in, in the foothills. That retrieval did, did not take place due to another more pressing matter. During our visit, a number of state and local political candidates stepped forward and introduced themselves to the Bundys. In rural areas, support for the Bundy family is very high, but in the urban centers, not so much. The two state legislators were in attendance included Representative Crescent Hardy and Assemblywoman Michelle Fior. The situation has caught the attention of leaders in several western states where federal authority over public lands has been problematic at best. Both elected officials reminded the crowd that peaceably, peaceful assembly would sway the court of public opinion more than rowdy or antagonistic behavior. This came on the heels of a highly publicized tussle that saw several individuals roughed up or tased after confronting and shoving BLM personnel. As the lawmakers were finishing their remarks, word came that three more Bundy family members had just been arrested 40 miles away at Mopa Beach. With that news, the majority of the crowd jumped into their vehicles and headed out. It may not be an actual standoff yet, but the tensions between embattled Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy and the Federal Bureau of Land Management are making waves well beyond Clark County. This is much more than a pissing contest between a dissident rancher and a dogmatic federal bureaucracy. It has far-reaching implications for every one of us regarding whether government is our servant or our master. If it goes sideways, it's likely that all of us will pay a significant price in terms of our personal freedoms. The frustration of the Bundy family is beginning to show. After decades of being relentlessly hounded by a bureaucracy that has sought to regulate away their livelihood, the urge to push back is building. They're confronting a hyper-aggressive government that has no compunction about using overwhelming force to impose its will. It's a battle that the Bundys cannot win physically in head-on confrontation. The feds are better armed, better trained, and far better organized in every way. They're also operating under the color of law, which lends legitimacy to injustice, particularly when it's done on a large scale. This means the Bundys must consider approaching this conflict from the viewpoint of fourth-generation warfare. Fourth-generation warfare is won at the moral level, not by physically annihilating one's enemy. But to do this requires the courage to allow your enemy to reveal his true character without responding in kind. This is what happened with the sharpshooter incident earlier this week, but the sympathy and support generated by that event quickly dissipates when protesters became or become antagonistic. The Bundys need to have a clear message that spells out their stance from a moral rather than a legalistic standpoint. They need to stay on that message and do whatever it takes to preserve the essential mantle of innocence by not becoming the aggressors. Now, of course, people who, I'm taking aside from this article for a quick moment, the people who support violence in the idea of achieving liberty, they'll simply claim they're not being the aggressors. They'll claim that, well, we've been aggressed against. The the state or the city or the, the town or the federal government, they have aggressed, and so therefore we can respond in kind. But while that may be technically correct, it's not something that's going to win hearts and minds. It's going to be something that'll make you look like crazies, like dangerous people who need to be crushed. To the average right. person who's just watching a news report. Just like this. if someone, let, let's suppose, Ian, that someone comes in and steals some of your radio equipment. Mm-hmm. You're not here when it happens. 
but you find out a week later who did it, if you then use physical force against the person, you could say, well, he aggressed against me Mm. by stealing my stuff. I was using self-defense. But because so much time has elapsed, no one is going to see that as self-defense. Yeah, the only time self-defense really is seen as self-defense is in the moment, in the heat right. of a, a dangerous, violent so moment. So the, the people that are saying, well, they've been stealing our money all this time, it's self-defense. It's not immediate. So it, it does make it seem as though you're being the aggressor in the situation. Right, and they may be making the most wise decision um taking that route just they might not mean to do it but it seems as if they're making martyrs out of themselves just by withstanding Those who are the violent, law you mean um no not the ones that are violent the uh, the bundy family oh they're, i see what you mean the they're not complying with the law they're not complying with demands which i find this whole situation kind of ridiculous because it's over grass that the cattle have been eating and while the law may say that they owe this money i feel like the government is completely overreacting in this situation and making themselves look worse by using the extreme amount of force and not to mention all of the money that they're probably spending on the equipment oh that God, they're, yeah. they're hurting the cattle vehicles with. To, exactly. uh, you know, to accompany the cowboys who are hurting the cattle that the BLM has hired to take the cattle off the, the Bundy family land. Not to mention but, they have to pay to take care of the cattle once they gather them. So right. how much what money does are they, this cost? They're actually losing money in this transaction. But if we let him graze his cattle out there, then everybody, there's 300 million Americans, everybody's going to have their cattle. Well, that's just it. They're willing to spend as much money as it takes to retain their level of control and legitimacy in people's eyes. Even though, as you pointed out, Ellen, that them being violent, the government guys being violent, and by amping up their their response in this way makes them look bad. It actually hurts their image, but when the protesters respond with violence, it, it hurts the protesters. So, final thoughts from Brian Hyde. He says, responding to force too soon will bring repercussions for more than just the Bundys. Those who would support them should also follow this advice. The mask slipped earlier this week, and many of us got a peek at the naked aggression that hides behind our benevolent bureaucracies. Our challenge is to make sure others can see what's behind that mask. And that won't happen if we are the initiators of violence. The toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. Share how you think or how you feel on this particular issue. Would love to hear from you. You can take control of the airwaves. And coming up, a big college myth. We're going to explore it in moments. It's Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. You've been lied to. Lied to by Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, and I want to give you free access to my new DVD set, The Millionaire Black Box. Because after losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. And since then, I've filmed interviews with dozens of millionaires across the country. I was shocked to discover they don't use mutual funds or worry about stock market crashes. They make double digits in good years and bad. Call now to get this DVD where millionaires reveal five specific wealth strategies like private lending contracts, how to use your IRAs or cash in the bank to make potential double digits each year, tax-free retirement income using the biggest benefits left in the tax code, and how to beat inflation with two strategies you'll never hear from Wall Street. Call 1-800-324-3030 to get free access to the Millionaire Black Box videos and learn the secrets the ultra-rich use to grow your money and protect your wealth. Plus, the next 47 callers get a free copy of my best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire. Just cover shipping and handling. Call 800-324-3030. Again, that's 1-800-324-3030. 1-800-324-3030. 
Did you know there's a way that could save you thousands on your credit card debt without going to a credit counseling organization or to a debt consolidation company? Did you know this same strategy could help you completely settle all of your debt fast? To unlock this vital information for free and to discover how much you could save, call now, 1-800-928-5394. At FDR, we're not going to explain this strategy on the radio. What we can tell you is, we've already helped thousands of Americans resolve over $2 billion in credit card and other unsecured debt. Why not add your debt to that? Again, to unlock this vital information to settling your debt as fast as possible, call 1-800-928-5394. If you're struggling with debt, this may be the answer you've been looking for. Call now. The bigger your debt, the more you need this vital free information. To find out how much money you could save, call 1-800-928-5394. Find out for free at 1-800-928-5394. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Is college a scam? The marketing says you're going to make more money than the average person if you go to college. Is it true? Daryl's got something that will address that here in a little bit. We'll also take your calls about whatever's on your mind. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And don't forget, you can join us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. With you in the studio tonight, it's Ian here. Ellen. And Daryl. And let's go right back into your phone calls and thoughts. By the way, I want to remind you to check out the AMP program at amp.freetalklive.com. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. We are currently advertising Free Talk Live on Google AdWords, and we're doing a matching fundraiser where if you give 5 bucks a month to the AMP program, we've got some generous listeners who are going to contribute the other 5 bucks to match it to 10 bucks. And uh, if you're doing 10 bucks a month, it'll be matched to, to 20 bucks. So it's a great way to help Free Talk Live expand our reach on the internet, also on uh, on the radio waves as well. Daryl, uh, the AMP program has allowed us to bring you on as an affiliate relations person. You just uh, actually got a new affiliate this week. Congratulations on that. And uh, so the AMP money goes to pay you when you're making those phone calls and pay you a bonus when you actually bring a new station in. Yes. So that happened. That is number three, I think, for you? Uh, number three, got a fourth station that There's one in the hopper. is supposed yeah. to begin airing tomorrow. Very cool. And one in which they've been running, but we don't have the official paperwork, so we cannot announce them yet. And, those are, and that's a big one, too. Um, but anyway, those are stations I wouldn't have been able to get, likely, because I don't have enough time to make all those calls myself. So it's the AMP program that's made all this growth possible. You can become a Free Talk Live amplifier and get your AMP dollars matched and those matching dollars are available for the ne- the next six months, basically. Uh, go to amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. As we go to the phones and your thoughts, let's talk to Andrew. He is in St. George, Utah, listening to KZNU. Hey, Andrew. Hey, how's it going? Hey, welcome, sir. Go ahead with your thoughts. Um, yeah, you guys want to talk about the college scam? Um, I was yes. just going to kind of, uh, you know, I think the major issue we have going on it, you know we got issues right uh, everything's not perfect here in the old america and uh the number one issue i feel like we have is an inability to define words uh nobody knows what ism we are under now all we know is we ain't under freedom mm. right okay we are not under freedom so what ism are we under is the question i would say and uh i say i know <laughs> just ask me 
And the ism we're under is fascism. It is not socialism. Obama is not a socialist. He is not a communist. Now, these are all forms of fascism, but um, he is a fascist, just like George Bush, just like the federal government acts right now. Now, they use, uh, concerning the college issue, concerning student loans, and this is the issue, is the student loans are coming from banks. Now, right? This is, this is how you're going to get your student loan, coming from a bank. Aren't they coming, some now, of them the coming from the go- federal government? They're all yeah, federally exactly. insured. Well, well, mm-hmm. But they're that's right. That's right. Coming but from the bank. Uh huh. Okay. Banks, are banks making profit? Of course. This is another form of fascism. So the, everyone says it's coming from the government. No, the government has just, just like Obamacare, has just done a deal with the bank huh. and said, "Hey, uh, give out these loans to anybody and everybody that wants it, uh, even if they're not learning analytical reasoning. They're not learning." logic in their colleges. They're not learning any useful skills in a productive economy. Um, and we are going to back them up 100%, meaning you have zero risk. It's just like the housing bubble. There was a bubble, and you're, what they're creating now, the same thing in the housing bubble, give loans, give out bad loans. And, uh, and what they created was a bubble, and bubbles have to burst. And so this bubble is is is, is is nasty in the in the education realm. Yeah, it's there's huge. a lot it's of a evidence for what ad- you're saying that there's a big bubble in the world of education, and when's it going to uh, to pop? Is a good question. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know if that's what your guest was going to talk about, but I, I imagine if he's saying that education is because you know there's lots of issues I'm sure with the education as far as what they're teaching, but when it comes down to it, people these banks are making money. Off of um, off of the government um, guaranteeing these loans, guaranteeing them, mm-hmm. meaning that even if these homies don't pay, even if Joe Schmo doesn't pay, he we are going to bail you out, bank. Even though we are we are forced, to, we are making you, and they're not sad about this because banks are still going to be charging interest whether it's the student that pays or they default, and that goes back to the government, which is the American people. Yeah, that's a good point. state, okay. And in the end, uh, I mean, what is the government? Do they have any money? Do we, are are they running in the black? No, it's it's the Federal Reserve System through their fiat currency. They are printing money. And I think fascism is what we need to see, is that what's the definition of this ism, of fascism, is where government and private corporations work together, right? That is the definition of fascism. And my understanding, going back to the student loan thing, my understanding is that the bankruptcy law was actually changed a couple of years ago to where if you have outstanding student loans and you file bankruptcy, the student loans don't go away. That's right. Oh, oh. So they guarantee even even after you file bankruptcy, they guarantee it for the bank. <laughs> the, right, like you, you can't you, wipe you, you can't wipe a student, student loan away with bank, bankruptcy. You can't right. wipe that, that you, away. You can wipe yeah. out a mortgage. You can wipe out a car <laughs> right. payment, but you cannot eliminate your student loan if you file bankruptcy. Yeah, and it's like okay, they changed that law. We, not, we you know we have to look at you know the common denominator. Where who do change this law? What committee changed it? Which politician changed it? And Who's their biggest donor? Is it Goldman Sachs, you know, the largest bank in America? <laughs> it, it, you know, it's like, who was Obama and Romney funded by? They were both, their largest donors to Romney and Obama was Goldman Sachs. $2.7 million to each of them equally. You know, Andrew, I'd say you know, you're, right, uh, you're on to something here. Good call tonight. Anything <laughs> else you want to share? Um, no, I just want people to wake up and realize that we are under a bank, a banker takeover and uh fascism is we're the largest fascist country ever to exist on earth and fascism is not good because it uses force it uses coercion it limits our free will and whenever our free will is limited um our ability to create and grow is limited and so i just encourage everyone to wake up to this fact going out to movies and all these things is a good time and i do the same thing but just realize that uh, there are starving children around the world, and our government is spending money on bureaucrats and on guns and ammunition uh, 
you know, to take down some rancher that's been that's been ranching for over 200 years. Just realize it's fascism. It's not communism. Uh, not Andrew, have you been to fascism. college? Wake up. Yes, sir. Hey. Yep, I have a worthless degree from the <laughs> University of South Carolina. Now, why is it worthless? What uh, <laughs> What was it in? Oh, it was in what you do. Oh, radio, broadcast, television, broadcasting? <laughs> poor, broadcast poor film. man. Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I don't do it. I never pursued it. Wow. Um, but uh, I, I, you know, I, I worked in it for a year, and I, it's okay. But I was, you know, this, this is a cool. I just moved to St. George, and this is a cool uh, little medium you guys have going. Um, I mean, I, it just seems like you're able. We're, I'm able to say this. I'm able to call in and say what I just said. You can't do that on the corporate media. You can't do that even on your local KSL. You Certainly know. not. Andrew, thanks for your call. So, Welcome thank, to Free Talk thank Live. You. Look forward to hearing from you in the in the future. Feel free to call in any old time you want. Toll free number tonight is 855 450 free. Now Ellen uh is in the studio with us from ALP and her, her website's alpshow.com. You are actually gearing up to go to college. Yes, I am. And I think he made a good point of uh, what was his name, Andrew? Yes. He made a good point saying that uh, a lot of people get worthless degrees. But I think the problem is that most people, um, they're pressured to go into college because all throughout high school, there's um, govern- government initiatives that encourage children to go to college immediately oh, yeah. after high school. And a lot of people don't even know what they want to do with their lives at that point. So they're just being pushed into college. Because it's what they're supposed to do. Exactly. It's, it's not only what the government has been telling them to do, but it's also what their family members have been telling them to do. It's, it comes from all over the place. Exactly. Son. I want you to be the first one in our family to graduate from college. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a huge social pressure for everyone to go to college, and people are just herded through the system like that. And I think that's one reason why the education is so poor. Like, I've talked to people who go to college, and the first two years, basically, they take classes that have nothing to do with what they want to pursue. And that might... Yep. And, and they're general classes. They have, have to pay to for them. it. Yeah. You have to take it. You have to pay for it, even if it's not what you want. Because I remember being in, in uh, community college in Florida, and the science class I took was using the same science textbook I'd used in high school. Uh, so I was paying to take the same course over again, essentially. Yeah. 855 450 freeze the toll free number. We can come back with more on college. Daryl, you've got a story about this million dollar claim that you're going to make a million dollars more on average than somebody else who doesn't go to college. If you go, we'll talk about that coming up. Geico presents Fan Mail to a Pig. Dear Maxwell, I just want to say thank you for making my Geico insurance ID card digital. It's easy to find on the app. It doesn't give me paper cuts, and I always have it on hand because it's on my phone. Because of this, I finally cleaned out my glove box, which was filled with years of paper ID cards. Any thought on what I should put in my glove box now? Sincerely, Trent Patterson. Hmm, Trent, what can you put in the glove box? Here's a crazy thought. How about gloves? Digital insurance ID cards. Just a tap away on the Geico app. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Did you know coffee is the second most absorbent crop on earth? Most coffee at grocery stores and chains contains banned pesticides and has a high mold content. Seriously, we're proud to partner with Comano Island Coffee Roasters to provide the best of the best coffee, Buzzbox Coffee. Try a free pound today. You cover shipping. 10% of future purchases benefit our efforts to give the gift of human freedom throughout the world. At least 100 World Vision microfinance loans. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, April 11th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,322, silver opened at $20.06, and Bitcoin is trading at $427.78. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM, June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. Support also comes from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. For your residential mortgage needs, call Dorothy, 512-343-6494, or apply online at calldorothy.com, NMLS 216-624. Support also comes from My Magic Mud, all-natural teeth whitener. Go to mymagicmud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's mymagicmud.com. In the news today, Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius is resigning. Her resignation comes after she helped to oversee the disastrous rollout of both Obamacare itself and the accompanying website. Reuters reports Sebelius' departure removes a key target for critics as the president and his fellow Democrats try to retain control of the Senate in November midterm elections. A 30-year-old production assistant for TV's Tosh.0 is dead, shot to death by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. The Los Angeles Times reports... Officers mistook John Winkler as a suspect in a stabbing. That came as Winkler went into a neighboring apartment in an attempt to help three occupants who were being held at night point. As he fled with one of the victims, shots were fired, leaving Winkler dead. The actual 27-year-old suspect was caught later. Beginning April 15th, Google will begin taking online orders for its controversial device, Google Glass. The glasses allow users to interact with their environment and will be sold around $1,500. While wearing the gadget, viewers will receive publicly available information. Critics of the tool believe it violates the privacy of individuals who may not want their details released publicly. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, now offering Pro Pure Water Filtration, the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water. Find them in Austin, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online, bravenewbookstore.com. Support also comes from Mass Appeal, affordable high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin online, MassApealLink.com. And support comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. Homegrown food on every table. That's GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, April 11, 2014. Check out the website, TheLibertyBeat.com. Lieutenant Ben Coleman of the Chief of Naval Operations Rapid Innovation Cell has hinted at the possibility of 3D printers aboard naval ships. Speaking at Sea Air Space 2014, the lieutenant discussed the Army's use of 3D printers in combat and what it will take to put a printer into action while at sea. Navy officials imagine a future where 3D printed organs could be created on Navy ships. A recently released statement from indigenous communities in southern Mexico condemns the destruction of communal land and attacks by the government that have stemmed from the construction of new wind farms. The communities state that the projects are expected to produce between 5,000 and 10,000 megawatts in wind energy, but will only benefit international corporations such as Walmart and Heineken. Dubious honors this week for the Department of Justice and the White House Press Office. Both are the top recipients of the annual Jefferson Muzzle Award, presented by the Thomas Jefferson Center for the Protection of Free Expression. The organization explains the award is a means to draw national attention to abridgments of free speech and press and, at the same time, foster an appreciation for those tenets of the First Amendment. The award has been handed out every year since 1992. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Bitmain Technology, creators of the Antminer S1 180 Gigahash Bitcoin Miner. No pre-order, ships on time, and sometimes it's early. Buy yours today at bitmaintech.com. And support comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials, online at affordablesound.com. Or you can call them, 512-459-5253. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, April 11th, 
2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Markets went into a frenzy today after the price of money suddenly skyrocketed to $90 a dollar. Onion reporter spoke to economics professor Mark Cosgrave about the soaring cost of U.S. currency and the impact of increasingly unpredictable dollar-to-dollar -dollar rates. Right now, money prices are steeply rising with no signs of slowing down. This morning alone, the price of dollars nearly tripled, with one cent worth approximately six dollars. That's exponentially higher than even a week ago when money was trading at roughly $53 on the dollar. To put it bluntly, we're now in the midst of a national economic crisis. According to Cosgrave, the abrupt spike in dollar prices initially caused many Americans to hold on to their money, hoping that the $90 cost of dollars would soon dip back down. But as prices continued to climb, investors panicked and began purchasing as much money as possible. But with the cost of quarters hitting $4.97 and the $5 bill jumping to a 12-year high of $372, the days when you could get 30 40 dollars for just a couple of bucks are unfortunately long gone this is the onion news network free talk live we're launching into the third hour of the program plenty of time for you with your thoughts if you call in toll free at 855 450 free that's 855 450 3733. You can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features that we share with you on the site. You actually get to create the content. You find something online that you want to share with our listeners, you submit it there at freetalklive.com. It appears on the site through our Reddit based system and then is subject to being voted on. You can vote things up if you like them, down if you do not. And in the aggregate, we'll know what you, the listeners, think is important and interesting or fun or exciting or outrageous or whatever you want to share over at freetalklive.com. Joining you in the studio tonight, it is Ian here. Ellen. And Daryl. And we're going to continue right into your phone calls. Coming up, Daryl's going to share with us something from the Mises Institute about this big claim that colleges love to make, that if you go to college, go to our school, you'll make a million dollars more on average than the average person who doesn't go to college, is basically the claim as I understand it. Yes. We're going to dig into that here in a moment. But first, we go to Nathan in Texas via Skype. Nathan, you're on Free Talk Live. Do we have Nathan? Nathan going once. Nathan going twice. Nathan in Texas, going to put him back on hold, maybe having uh, sound card difficulties on my end. I'll have to check that out here in a little bit. Johnson is with us uh, in New Hampshire on the line. Hello, Johnson. Hey. Hey. So uh, you had said something in the last segment there about uh, you can't get rid of student loan debt, and that's kind of true, but not really 100% true. And uh, hmm. I guess sort of, and unfortunately, they're incentivizing this now with the way that they've set up the student loan system, which is that before a lot of people would want to wait to you know pay off their student loans before they got into something like a mortgage or uh, you know getting taking out bank loans or any kind of that situation right but now they're incentivized to get a mortgage or you know get a house you know get the house paid off or whatnot remortgage the house right and then use that to pay off their student loans because in most cases you're going to get a much better interest rate you're going to get a much better interest rate. You can consolidate multiple loans, right? And you can declare a bankruptcy. So what On you could mortgage. potentially do, yeah, if you were a real scumbag, what you could potentially do is just go out and buy a crappy home, right, and uh, remortgage it immediately, pay off your student loans, declare bankruptcy, and, uh, you know, rent somewhere for seven years until you <laughs> just get rid of all your debt. Right, but that's... So, that That's indirectly getting rid of the student loan. The student loan itself isn't being removed when filing bankruptcy. The right, loan but, that you took out to pay off that loan is being right. removed. But Johnson's making a point that right. you can get out of it if you want to go through the, the jump through those hoops. Right. That's interesting. And, but the right. student loan itself, my my well, statement is still true it's, that the well, student yeah, loan yeah, itself true, does not get removed. Gone. I mean if you pay it off, it's gone, you know, right. and if you're paying it off with more, more illegitimate debt, I mean, you still pay it off. I mean, it, it's such a silly roadblock. You know, it's like one of these things. Mm. The market always flows around the really dumb bureaucracy. Well, right, and for the people you know, that know always... the loopholes, uh, there they, those loopholes exist. The people who are, you know, intelligent or aware enough or informed enough to know these things, uh, and now you've helped inform our listeners on this, Johnson. Thank you for, uh, for the clue on that. Anything else you want to share? 
No problem. Uh, nope, that's, uh, that's it. Thanks. Okay, man. I appreciate the call tonight. Uh, Toll free number is 855 450 free. We've got Ramona in Utah. Ramona, you're on Free Talk Live listening to KZNU. Yes, I am. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the Bundy situation. Has anyone sure. told you that uh, the BLN is uh, not just gathering cattle, but they're killing the cattle those, if uh, they can't get them? Yeah, I heard those uh, allegations. Uh, I had asked a gentleman who called earlier tonight who apparently went to visit one of the Bundy family members this uh, this week, yesterday, uh, and they said they hadn't been able to verify that claim, but I've heard that claim a couple times. Now, what? where did you, did you see well, any evidence of this? I was there, but I didn't know. You can't see it because it's back up in the hills. Right. But they're hauling cattle out of there. They're leaving the babies. They've tore the, all the water out. They've cleaned the water out. So that leaves the wildlife without any water, mm. plus any cattle and any babies that's left up there. And that's verified that, it, that the water is gone. The other thing is, is the BLM is the one that has been aggressive. It has not been the people there. And the governor has told the BLM to back off and not be aggressive. And you didn't see any BLM today. I've spent the past two days out there. So you're saying that the BLM's not uh, visible at this time? That's an interesting claim. Not at this time. But regarding no, the aggression, not- regarding the aggression statement, uh, I'm not saying that the BLM is not aggressing. I, I agree. The BLM, the Bureau of Land Management, in the case in the Range War, so-called in Nevada, is definitely the aggressor. However, the use of violence in response to them is not going to help the side of the the ranchers. Do you agree with that? But the, the people are not being violent. The reason that one guy was Thank goodness. taken down and tased is because he was taking pictures with his iPod. Right. No, it's and ridiculous. Guys, it's outrageous. And people guys, need to show exactly. that video that needs to be seen. People need to know what's ha- actually happening out there. But it he would not have looked as good YouTube. had he just blasted those cops. Do you know what I mean? See, all he had was an iPod. Thank goodness. That's an what I'm iPad. saying. An iPad, yes. He was taking pictures of them. Right. Up the, cattle, the camera is a far was, more dangerous tool, a far more dangerous right, tool exactly. than the gun. And that's what they're doing is taking pictures. Thank and goodness. You can look it up I, I agree with you, and that's good because the, the family has requested that people not tote around guns and not wear camouflage because they don't want this to turn into some sort of militia exercise that devolves into a shooting war. And I think the family's absolutely right in that position. Thank goodness. And yes, thank you. They are. Thanks, Ramona, for they're your call tonight. People. I appreciate your perspective. The toll free number is 855 450 free. Yeah, remaining as peaceful as possible. Very important. So she said that, what was it, the mayor, the governor that told uh, the federal agency to leave them alone? It's apparently the governor. I actually have a a story about that. So I'm just wondering um, how much uh, leeway or rights as far as um, like telling the federal agency that they can't do this, that the state has. That's the thing. He's not actually doing anything about it. The story from uh, foxnews.com is that Governor Brian Sandoval in Nevada has condemned the Bureau of Land Management for what they characterize as heavy-handed actions involving uh, this rancher that we were talking about. They said, quote, uh, No cow justifies the atmosphere of intimidation which currently exists, nor the limitation of constitutional rights that are sacred to all Nevadans. The BLM needs to reconsider its approach to this matter and act accordingly. However, as we heard from our caller earlier today, the state police are still buzzing about there and, uh, you know, playing their role in assisting the federal government. So the words of the governor are not ringing into any sort of action on the part of the Nevada state government. Right. And that's completely ridiculous. I just want to point this out again. Like he said, there is no cow. That's what this is about, cows. And there's so much violence being perpetrated on the behalf of these cows. Like. Why Why is it being made into such a violent affair? Because that's it's what they do. It's not really about cows. It's about control. It's about obedience. It's the, about the, the ideas. The cows are a symbol of that control. Right. I understand that. And it's it's about the ideas, essentially. But I feel like they're defeating themselves in doing this because they're overexerting their power to the point to where people are actually noticing it. And they're pointing it out, and they're taking pictures, and it's becoming a national news like this. But overexerting their power is what governments do. Just sure, look at all of, of the stories 
of cops shooting dogs during drug raids. Exactly. Firing but if you 47 look... times on a homeless guy that stole a cup of coffee. Exactly. But if you look back through history and even now, you can see that the more... Uh, the more violence the government perpetrates, more people are going to stand up and say that they don't like it. It's true. The, the government is uh, they're in a position that because they're doing wrong, they don't have a real good answer to making people be more obedient. I mean, that's what they want. They want people to be obedient. They want them to pony up the cash that they're demanding and do what they're told. The problem is when somebody disobeys and somebody non-cooperates, the government people only have two choices. One, ignore it, and then they look like they're not enforcing their laws. They look impotent. Two, crack down, and then they look like they're tyrants, and then they look outrageous and violent. And so it's, it's really only one of those two options. Either way, it's a loser for them. There's more coming up here, and they tend to crack down. Uh, you know, at least that's what it seems like. 855-450 free. You can take control here on Free Talk Live. Share your thoughts. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth slide into a recession or at worst depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government over extends itself and spends beyond its means. Many investors are turning toward gold as a common sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000 year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800 800- 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of Namecoin. 
If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can bring up anything you want. Just dial toll-free to 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm. And I did check the Skype out there during the break, and it is working, so we will uh, try that again here in moments. Uh, you can, of course, join us over at freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features there. Free. Cashintocoins.com. You want to talk about free? How about some free transferring your cash into bitcoins no fee to transfer cash into bitcoins under forty dollars at cash you go over 40 bucks the fee is very very reasonable and very competitive with anything else out there in the bitcoin world cash it's easy safe fast legal and inexpensive plus customer service is their top priority and there's a big announcement coming soon from cash so stay tuned for that again if you want to turn your cash into Bitcoins, go to cashintocoins.com. I've used it. Daryl's used it. And I'll probably use it again. It's good stuff. So our toll-free number again here is uh, 855-450-FREE. We're going to go to Livewire in New Orleans. You're on Free Talk Live Livewire. Yes, sir. First, I would like to commend you individuals because I've been aware of you all since like maybe 2007 when I was living in South Florida. And y'all are doing a great job in the, in the whole free talk uh, scenario in in uh, your your home state. There is is a great wonderful thing. Okay. Uh, now to uh, Nevada, and that situation is growing, and there's more information getting out. It's more about cows, most specifically. There's a Satan worshiping scum sucker named Harry Reid, who uh, has made a deal with Chinese people to get some of the oil rights to that land, which has been formally, you know, uh, used by that particular family there and, and other individuals that have been living there forever. And uh, so it, it, it's only just getting out what's going on, but mm. it's certainly about control. It's, it's about control, but uh, there, there's underhanded deals. Uh, Harry Lee, Reed recently, uh, you know, was sending money back that he got from his granddaughter in a campaign fund in this issue and on a campaign fund paperwork, he didn't even list his granddaughter's last name. So then when I got questioned, he sent that money back. He's a very underhanded individual. So, I mean, he's a politician. We, of course, he's an underhanded individual. But uh, I had actually seen something about this, but I hadn't taken the time to really look into it, that this whole Bundy Ranch controversy is really based on uh, people looking for oil. And you're saying that... Uh, this particular politician, Harry Reid, is uh, is involved in this. Is it that uh, the, the that the politician in this case had not wanted the oil until recently because the Bundy family has not been paying the BLM fees since the early 1990s, and the BLM has been ha harassing them for years? Uh, is is that is this like the oil thing a more recent development, or do you think that's been the original reason back in the 90s that they they started harassing him? It's a more recent development. That's why I say, you know, some of that information is just now getting out, but it's mm. paperwork that Harry Reid and other individuals signed with Chinese people who, and this is like in the last year or two, that they've signed this kind of paperwork. And it's because Chinese people want oil rights that they're not just now realizing. Well, potential when you say Chinese drilling. people, I presume you mean individual Chinese businessmen. You're not making a statement about every China, every person in China, obviously. Well, that's no, obviously not. Uh, and, and more specifically, uh, you know, obviously it's some of the government officials in China mm -hmm. that uh, are certainly knowingly involved in this situation. Mm -hmm. But, uh, it, you know, uh, and it's a testimony to the times. And I'll add that I am a Christian and the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus is all important. Spiritual truth is important, and Harry Reid is somebody that needs to come to the knowledge of the truth. Uh, times are getting short. Believe the gospel. Well, Livewire, thanks for the call tonight. I don't know if I agree with all that at the end, but I appreciate your uh, your perspective in the call tonight. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. It, they, people and a lot of religious people are always saying the times are at, at an end. 
The times are always ending. Right. It to does people. seem that way. Yeah. People for nearly 2,000 years have thought that, you know, like the end of the world is right around the corner. Yeah. And it's still here. So we'll continue on here, and I'll, I'll continue my life believing that I'll be waking up tomorrow. Yeah, I'm kind of interested after. in what he brought up, the uh, the deal with the Chinese politicians and the oil land. Like, I, I'd like to know more details about that. I had seen, as I said, I saw something online, but I did not pull it up, so feel free uh, to dig in maybe during one of the breaks. We'll see if we can find something about that. It's an interesting allegation. It wouldn't surprise me if that were the case as to why, after 20 years now the BLM is moving against this family. Because, again, they stopped paying the fees back in 1993. And so, presumably, the BLM would be would be harassing them over that, as would any government agency, if you did not pay a fee they were demanding you. But now, 20 years later, they actually make a move on them? So maybe there is something else afoot. Could be. And I actually just saw this article as he was mentioning it, mm-hmm. and it's from a source that I've never heard of before, westernjournalism.com, and it has some reports in here that now my computer decided to go completely away from that article. Tell you what, we'll let you dig into that here in a yes. moment. Let's go to Nathan. In the meantime, we're going to give him another shot here on Skype. Nathan in Texas, are you there? I am here. How we got gotcha. you. Go ahead. Uh, congratulations, Ellen, for your first time on Free Talk Live. Apparently it's oh, our second thanks, time. Oh, thanks, Nathan. I mean, oh. it's my second time, but thank you. I, oh, I recognize okay. your name and your voice. Nathan's uh, a regular ALP listener as well. Excellent. So what's on your uh, mind, Nathan? Well, I was. Uh, it was interesting that this arrest uh, you were talking about happened today. I'd actually read an article on freeking.com that showed a picture of you and Mark from 2007, I think. You were kind of wearing some white duds there, and uh, it mentioned an Ian Bernard. Mm-hmm. Well, I was curious, uh, so what's... What's the story uh, with your name change, and uh, can I go back in the archives and listen to that? Well, sure. I mean, it's been something that's been developing over several years. Uh, it started in here in New Hampshire when I found out that there was a court case that says that you can just change your name just because you want to, as long as it's not being used for fraudulent purposes. So I uh, started using a new name and eventually was able to register to vote under that new name without having to go through a probate court process. But there were certain, even though you know, when I went to when I went to court various different times, I had mostly no luck getting them to recognize my chosen name, which is Ian Freeman. And so, just out of born out of frustration, uh, because they won't recognize their the courts won't recognize their own Supreme Court decision, they uh, will only recognize the probate court uh, name change document. I did finally go and file for the the name change in late 2013. Does that summarize it for you? I think so. And before that, you were, like you said, you were still using your uh, slave name. I, I guess we, I'm not sure what you call it. Yeah, I think that's on, a like, decent term for it. For the, uh, like, for banks, uh, banking, and uh, I don't know, uh, getting a car loan and things, of, things like that. Okay, because I've never, I've, I don't know much about the name change process. It would seem like you would still have to use your old name for, like you said, all the things that you still own in that name. like a house Right, until you were able to somehow change the, all of those things. And there's no time frame that they force you to do all of those changes in. Um, they probably expect you to get it done in a reasonable time. Yeah, whatever that means. So there you go, Nathan. Hope that answers your questions. Thanks for the call tonight. 855-450 free. Coming up, the uh, million dollar promise from the colleges saying you're going to make a million bucks extra if you get a college education compared to people who don't get that education. We'll dig into that here in moments. And you can bring up anything here on Free Talk Live. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. 
There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. For the past several years now, area woman Caitlin Mooney has been convinced that each and every one of her friends should be a professional comedian. Our reporters spoke to Caitlin this morning about her, quote, hilarious group of friends. Karen is so funny. <laughs> Like, I can't even explain it. She's always just saying what's ever on her mind. She has this totally sassy attitude. <laughs> you just can't help but laugh. My roommate, Reishmi, she always has these hilarious stories that, I mean, they're just too much. I'm always telling her that she should just go up on stage and talk. I mean, everyone would love it. Mooney went on to say that her good friend Lauren is so funny she could, quote, definitely be on Saturday Night Live or The Office, a sentiment she echoed about a number of her other acquaintances, including her childhood friend Marsha, her college roommate Angela, her co-worker Julie, and even her sister Jennifer. This is the Onion News Network. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up anything you want here toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And joining you tonight, Ian here. Ellen. And Daryl. All right. We'll go back to your phone calls and your thoughts. A lot of people have a lot to say on the Nevada so-called range war that is uh, brewing out there at the uh, the Bundy family farm and the nearby areas where hundreds of supporters and media, news media as well have gathered uh, we'll continue. We will actually tomorrow night hopefully have one of the Bundy family on to actually give us the inside scoop on what has been happening over the last week. Of course, you can take control of the airwaves and bring up anything you want at 855-450-FREE. Something you can also take control of is your privacy online with ProXPN. You can go to ProXPN.com slash FTL and download their app. There's one for Windows, Macintosh, iOS systems, and Android uh, you can also get it to work with Linux. It's a little bit different setup involved there. You probably have to email them to get the instructions. But it's not very complicated, actually, at all to get uh, ProXPN working with Linux. But what is it? It's a, uh, it is a network that is global. 
and it encrypts your data, meaning that what you normally would send to your internet service provider, they'd be logging. They're probably logging every website you visit and every search term you enter right now for up to five years in some cases. Well, you can stop that by getting ProXPN because ProXPN then encrypts your data going out from your computer and also what's coming into your computer so your ISP no longer can snoop on you. In fact, not only can they not snoop on you, but neither can the administrator at your workplace. Neither can the administrator of the coffee shop that you might be using the, uh, the internet connection there. So big, big privacy uh, boost when you start using ProXPN. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Get started there. You can start up for free right now and just try it out. And then when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account, use discount code FTL20. That's FTL and the number 20. And that'll get you 20% off for the lifetime of the account. The premium account gives you unlimited bandwidth. The premium account also gives you access to all of the servers that ProXPN has around the world. So you can select which server you want to connect to. Let's say you want to do private torrenting. Again, you have to have the premium account for private torrents. Connect to the Netherlands server and you will have maximum privacy protections when you're doing private torrenting through ProXPN. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL20. Save that 20% for the lifetime of the account. And don't worry, you've got a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. If for some reason you're disappointed, you can get your money back from ProXPN.com slash FTL. Go and grab the software there and use code FTL20 to save that 20%. Let's go to Dave. He's in Nevada and on the amp lines. Hey, Dave. Hey, guys. How's it going? Welcome, sir. Go um, ahead. I wanted to talk about the uh, Bundy family, yes. Al and Peg and Kelly and Bud. Boom, boom. It's funny. <laughs> it's married, married it's not the reference. first time that joke's been but, done, um, but it's a good one. Go ahead. Well, I didn't hear it on <laughs> if someone did it earlier. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of involved in, I guess, the Liberty Community here in Las Vegas, and I know people have been going down there. I'm going to try to go tomorrow. Um, one of my friends that I, I didn't talk to her, but I kind of texted her. She said she didn't really see, you know, I asked her if she saw any um, agents or anything like that or if it was hard to get down there. She said that she didn't and that, you know, um, she wasn't searched or anything like that because I heard something saying that they were, like, searching cars for guns or something. I, I don't know if that was on a news report yeah. or, or whatever. Um, and then Yeah, someone called earlier saying the, they were uh, harassing visitors for not having, I guess there's some sort of rule in Clark County, according to our caller earlier, that you have to have your magazine separated from the gun if you're going to be carrying it in a car. No, that, that's not, okay, yeah, and if you have your, only your uh, a rifle, if you have a hand, you can carry a loaded handgun in your car in Clark County. Okay. Because um, I actually, I do it. <laughs> but, well, maybe they're just picking on people with rifles, but that was the claim. Yeah, rifles, I believe, you can't have them loaded when you're transporting them, but you can open carry both your handguns and your rifles in, in Clark County and in the state of Nevada. Um, the only difference in Clark County is if you live in Clark County, you have to register your handgun. Um, but the rest of the state, you don't have to. But other than that, I mean, we have pretty, pretty good um, gun laws here. But we've had one of the county commissioners, who I'm familiar with, uh, He's always making these ridiculous comments, but who said that anybody, he was referencing people from Utah and said anybody who comes there from Utah to protest better have funeral plans. Um, this is uh, Tom Collins, who's a, he's one of the commissioners. And, you know, he's somebody who, like, we had a more cops tax that was, um, they were voting on, you know, he promoted that. He made a statement that he didn't uh, want to listen to anybody's comments and he left the, left the uh, room when we were making uh, – because I actually went to, you know, the uh, county commission meetings and spoke during the comment section. So he's, he's I guess, a guy who there's been some controversial stuff. Uh, yeah, I actually had the know, news story but, here I mean, from a... Infowars.com about this county commissioner. It was in my show prep for, uh, for tonight and I think last night as well. Um, he apparently spoke – uh, let's see. The comments were revealed by Darren Bushman from Pute County, Utah, uh, commissioner after he spoke with Collins about Utah ranchers and his colleagues on the county commission complaining about tactics used by the BLM during their seizure of Bundy's cattle in southern Nevada. I was just told by Commissioner Collins of Clark County that all of us folks from Utah are a bunch of, quote, inbred bastards, unquote, and if we are coming to Clark County, Nevada, to support Clive and Bundy, we all, quote, better have funeral plans, unquote, and we should, quote, turn our asses around and mind our own effing business, unquote. That sounds like a death threat. It sort of has that ring to it. 
Yeah, this guy, uh, real uh, real nice guy, character, apparently. So this is one of the county commissioners there where you live, Dave? Yeah, uh, Tom Collins. And do you believe the claims? The actually... do, you, do you believe the claims? Yeah, I... that, that... yeah, yeah, definitely, because it, this is also, you know, a guy, one, he, he had an incident where that was in the review journal where he got drunk and he shot at a tree and then the police came and, <laughs> and they, uh, they eventually filed charges, but of course... You know, nothing happened because he's a commissioner. And he, mm-hmm. he totally, you know, made comments about, like I was saying, about the, the sales tax, where they were going to raise the sales tax to hire more cops. And he told, he promoted that and said, you know, it's irrelevant. I, I was actually there at the county commission meeting where he pretty much said, it's irrelevant what you guys have to say because, you know, we need more cops for public safety. And then he left the room while we made the comments. So it, this is not somebody who it would surprise me that would say something like that. I honestly can't stand him. I don't know. You know, he's not in my district. Uh, well, he did go He did go on out. to further clarify, saying, I'm trying to do everything I can to discourage anybody who tells me they're coming here with loaded guns. I'm going to tell them not to come. The Bundys want peace. They don't want any violence going on, so all these gun-packing folks just need to go home. Now, that's a more intelligent thing to say yes. than you, you know, better have funeral plans. So, Dave, I've got yeah, a question. Probably... Sorry. I've got a question for you. Do you know anything about the claim that Harry Reid somehow was instrumental in striking a deal with a Chinese company to put up a $5 billion solar plant on the land where Clive and Bundy's cattle are? Yeah, I read the same article that there was... um you know, something going on with that where he made some deal with the Ch- Chinese business or the Chinese government. So that's out there. I think the one that I saw was from InfoWars, but I don't know, you know, there is really no other way to kind of validate that. They, they did have um, a picture of, um, it was from some database or something where it did uh, like a screenshot where it talked about, you know, his ranch and how, you know, they, he's not allowed to have it there or whatever. But um, I don't know how valid that, that story is, but it, hmm. it is out there, and I did read that. Um, and it wouldn't surprise like, Harry Reid is, I mean, he was the guy, if you've seen Casino, you know, uh, the, the guy who was played by Dick Smothers, who used to be head of the, the uh, gaming board or whatever, um, you know, and then in the in the movie, and, and granted, this is in the movie, but, you know, he was the one who, he was giving them hookers and hotel rooms. But, I, I mean, I've read stuff about Harry Reid, and I, I don't even know how he keeps getting elected. You know, I heard he brings the unions in, and, and there were some ca- campaign financing issues. And, you know, so, yeah. He's an me, incumbent. They just keep getting elected he's, everywhere. He, he's been there, like, you know, forever. I mean, he's been a politician since he was in his 20s. Wow. And, and I think he's, you know, corrupt as they come. So. Thanks, Dave, for your call tonight. Uh, that's a long career of screwing people. Yes. For a living. We will. Speaking of screwing people, college. Uh, funding. Uh, they're claiming that uh, it's worth it. They're claiming that the big money that you're going to spend going to college is well worth it. And Daryl, maybe not. That maybe that's not so true. We'll get into that here. You've got the story in moments. In the remaining moments of Free Talk Live, which are just around the corner here, 855-450 free is the toll-free number. You can take control. This is Free Talk Live. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and to truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. 
Go to privacylockdown.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, enough time for your call with your thoughts. If you dial toll-free to 855-450-FREE, that's 855-450-3733. You know, we got a YouTube channel. You can actually go and watch full episodes of Free Talk Live, the whole three hours uploaded every single night to our YouTube channel. It's a relatively new thing. We've been doing it for about over a month at this point. And so the archives don't go back too far, but they are there and they're being added nightly. So go to youtube.freetalklive.com if you want to quickly access that. And of course, full show archives from the past several years, going all the way back to late 2006 in audio format are available on our website at freetalklive.com, so don't miss those. Of course, you can subscribe to them via podcast or just directly download the ones that you want. It's up to you at freetalklive.com. Ellen is here from alpshow.com. Daryl from fpp.cc. Daryl, we've been teasing this college story all night. Let's jump into it. So the story here from Mises.org says, It is becoming substantially less difficult these days to convince people that college is not a surefire way to a good life. Even Paul Krugman has conceded, quote, it's no longer true that having a college degree guarantees that you'll get a good job, end quote. You can say that again. 53% of recent graduates are either unemployed or underemployed. Hmm. Unfortunately, myths die hard. Many people still want to believe what Hillary Clinton once said. Graduates from four-year colleges earn nearly an estimated $1 million more than high school graduates. This may sound convincing, but this figure, based on Census Bureau reports, is about as true as it is relevant. Hmm. After all, isn't it true that the most hardworking and intelligent people tend more to go to college? Well, this is not nature versus nurture, 
these factors, the factors behind these qualities are unrelated to the discussion if, at hand. If one grants, however, that the more ambitious and talented go to college in greater proportion than their peers, Miss Clinton could have simply said the most hardworking and intelligent earn nearly an estimated $1 million more than their peers. I think the presses need not be stopped. For one thing, the Census Bureau estimates, or rather the Census Bureau estimates, include super earners such as CEOs, which skew the average upward. Mm -hmm. Although some, such as Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates, never graduated from college. This is why it's better to use the median, the middle number in the data set, rather than the mean or the average. It's also why Hillary Clinton and others repeat this factoid, or rather, and other repeaters of this factoid don't. Furthermore, just because more smart people go to college doesn't mean they should. They may earn more money, but why? But what they keep is more important than what they make. Yeah, that's a good point. Making the claim that somebody earns a million dollars more doesn't speak to the amount of money they're paying out in the costs of the insane college loans yes. and the interest. That's true. You know, I want to say first out, um, I don't think... Like I don't I don't know if this article is supposed to be anti college. That's kind of what I what it sounded like to me. But it seems like uh, you're not going to be homeless or out on the street because you don't have a job if you don't go to college. But there's um, a lot of people that go to college that just end up working in a different field, or maybe they don't use their degree. Like they still have jobs, and you know, maybe they could have made just as much money if they didn't go to college, but there are some things that you have to go to college it's for. True. Right. And there are things to where you could go to either a community college, as Ian and I both did, or go to a vocational school to you know get hands-on experience to learn a trade. But it's certainly true that to be like an engineer, and I think, aren't you going for chemical engineering or something like that? Yeah, that's what I'm planning on it's going pretty for. Pretty tough to go to Votech for, right. you know, something like that. But something as far as, oh, I don't know, carpentry, Yeah, you know, going and getting some fancy four-year degree isn't necessarily going to make you a better carpenter. It yep. will give you that's all true. of the facts of, well, this guy was the first person to ever be a carpenter. But right. that's not going to give you real world experience. Exactly. There, there is the misconception among people that like you have to go to college to be successful. But if it's something, uh, something like carpentry, or if it's production, or you know maybe you want to be a journalist, you don't have to go to college for something like that. You can just go out and do it. Right. Yeah. Some people go to college and major in music. I mean, you can right. Just play your guitar or whatever. So right. the article continues. Financial columnist Jack Huff created a very illuminating hypothetical scenario with two people. One who choose or one who chooses to go to college and one who enters the labor force after high school. Huff then uses the average cost of college as well as US Census Bureau data for the average income of college graduates and non-graduates adjusted for age. He assumes that both save and invest 5% of their yearly income. By the age of 65, how does the net worth of each look? Okay. Ian, take a guess. Ellen, take a guess. And then I will tell you the figure that he comes up with. So this is the average of people who have gone to college versus those who haven't. Yes. As far as the uh, net Assuming worth. that both individuals yep. save 5% yep. of their income. I would say the person who didn't go to college is better off because they're not paying those insane college loans. You know, I would have to say the same just on a, a larger scale. I mean, I would say there are definitely examples where that's not true, but um, just in general, probably the person who doesn't have hundreds of thousands of dollars in college debt to pay. Do, do either one of you guys want to guess the figures that he came up with for the college graduate no. and the high school graduate just give, just give me the no. numbers college graduate would have saved four hundred thousand dollars the high school graduate 1.3 million wow so really the the key 
to getting that money, and this was by eight, what age? 65? 65. So the, really the key to getting that, in, that money and savings is to know how to save. And to not have debt. I mean, you can't save effectively if you've got if you're servicing debt the entire time that you're alive, or for decades, or however long it takes for these people to pay off these insane loans. Right. But, and I think the wise decision is to only go for a degree in college, like if you know that it's going to be profitable, because otherwise oh yeah. you end up with a bunch of debt, and you know you end up like the person in this scenario where you save up not even half of uh, somebody who didn't go to college. And and you, uh, Ellen, made the point earlier that there are a lot of people who just get out of high school and they go right into college, not knowing anything about what they're there for. They're just there because they were told to be there. Exactly. And, and how uh, detrimental is that? I I think that that's probably the reason why this huge bubble is occurring in uh, college because people are going to college and they're taking out all these loans not having a way to pay them back mm-hmm. just because they feel pressured to go into college. It's it's very easy um, when you're in high school to get talked into going because everybody is always asking, what college are you going to? And your teachers actually set aside class time for you to fill out college paperwork. And if you don't do that, then that can actually be detrimental to your high school grades. So you might not be able to graduate if you don't participate in these class periods in which you're filling out college paperwork. So the article actually gets a little more interesting here. Okay. It says, when one thinks about the common narrative of college versus no college, it truly becomes absurd. Indeed, who exactly are we comparing? We're not only comparing Jane Lawyer to Joe Carpenter, but we're also comparing financial analysts with the mentally disabled, medical doctors with welfare dependents, building engineers with drug addicts, Architects with panhandlers, marketing directors with immigrants who can barely speak English, and university professors with career criminals, many of these troubled people did not graduate high school, but it is shocking how they shuffle kids through the system. Nearly 50% of Detroit high school graduates, high school graduates, are functionally illiterate, and it isn't even that much better for the country as a whole. Mm -hmm. And something tells me that these particular non-graduates need something other than four years of drinking and studying Lockean, well, more likely Marxian, philosophy. It certainly could be a good thing to earn a college degree if one wants to be an, an accountant, engineer, or doctor, a degree is required. And those jobs have very high incomes. But one can really... Exp- but can one really expect to make a killing with a degree in sociology no. or medieval African women's military ethnic studies? No, you can expect to serve tables for the rest of your life or other, some other menial uh, labor task. So we are out of time for tonight. So something to think about. At least, Ellen, you're coming from a, a perspective of making a real conscious decision to do this. Right. Hopefully this will turn out well for me, seeing as I want to go for something that's more intellectual. You're not just bumbling into it. Uh, check out Ellen at ALPshow.com, Daryl at FPP.cc, and more at freetalklive.com. See you tomorrow. There's a- this is novelist Tom Robbins. When my mother was diagnosed with glaucoma, Her conservative Virginia physician told her there was only one treatment that might ease her pain and save her eyesight. That treatment was medical marijuana, which he could not prescribe. I offered to get her some and teach her how to use it effectively, but my father objected because marijuana was against the law. So my mother, who loved to read and walk in nature, was condemned to grow cruelly unnecessarily blind. Tragedies like this happen all the time, but they don't have to keep happening. To learn more about medical marijuana, call the Marijuana Policy Project at 1-877-JOIN-MPP or visit them on the web at mpp.org. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938.
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. The Corey Moore Show is coming up next, live after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, April 11th, 2014. Radio VR News. Ten people are dead and dozens injured Thursday in a fiery collision in Northern California between a truck and a tour bus carrying high school students en route to tour Humboldt College. California Highway Patrol spokeswoman Officer Tracy Hoover says a FedEx truck traveling south on Interstate 5 crossed over into oncoming traffic and crashed into the tour bus and a car. We have, I believe, 46 people that were on the bus. Um, we have nine confirmed fatalities at 